Bitch don't kill my vibe. Bitch don't kill my vibe. Bitch don't kill my vibe. Welcome back to my um to my show to my little presentation show around the web in the web in the corner of the web in the cracks of the pavement through the web how about that how about that that deserves an applause okay that deserves an applause um so welcome back guys welcome back um, wait a second here Welcome back to the show, to the presentation. Some of you have been asking me for to loosen my hair and look all sexy and shit. Well, it's happening. It's happening. I got tired of the big earphones, and now I have um now I have a, a CIA agent earpiece. Did you know these earpiece pieces didn't work? Um, with a speaker in your ear, the speaker is actually way down um, there right now, connected to some place. Um, the thing that connects to your ear ear is a uh, is a hollow tube, actually. So yeah, and it's supposed to be anti radiation or something, anti radio frequencies that um, that nobody needs. Okay, so um. So that's not really important. I'm excited. I have a new soundboard. It's not a, it's not new. It's a tablet I found from like 2010, 2015. And um and now it has a use. Now it has a use. Um yeah. So a lot of you have been asking for the tips. A lot of you have been asking me, did I quit the show? Did I um stop filming or something? No, I didn't. I want to improve this place. Okay? This computer this this computer, this PC right here, yeah. This PC, he it's on his h hanging for dear life on 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 his last um you know hair, hanging for dear life. This piece of shit, I didn't film anything because this this piece of shit just turns itself off and never turns on again. And then it turn and then it turns on random either randomly or either just some day I'm gonna walk by it and. Press the power button and and it's actually gonna power on, boot, um, which it doesn't do, and then it does it randomly after like two months or one month of just fucking sitting here and doing nothing, and um, eating dust basically. So yeah, I'm gonna change the computer. I'm gonna change the mic. I'm gonna change everything. Everything. Everything is gonna be better. I'm I'm gonna stop hearing myself with the, the slightest fucking delay that I'm you know. That um confuses my wording, and yeah, yeah, everything's gonna be good. Everything's gonna be all right. We're not gonna die until then. Our plans are gonna work, and um, yeah, I guess that's that's it. Let's let's just um start the start the the thing. I need to open a beer. It's a Friday here. I don't know what about you guys, but we have we have some smokables. We have some drinkables. Um, you know. Uh, we have sound effects. Hey, you want sound effects? Let's let's um let's hear Stevo. Hey, Stevo, everybody. Oh yeah, dude, that's total booze, man. I hope it's not um it's not um it's not too fucking uh, low of a volume for you. I don't have an opener. Holy shit, man! I need to improvise here. Ooh! <laughs> Everybody, oh yeah, dude, that's total booze, oh, man. Yeah, dude, that's total booze, man. Oh yeah, dude, that's total booze, man. Oh yeah, dude, <laughs> that's total booze, man. Total booze, man. Cheers, cheers, guys, for us, for the world, for whoever lived, whoever, for whoever died, for whoever did, whoever and ever, um, you know, lifted up a glass to, um, to celebrate something. This is for them and us, you know them us everybody um, i need to make this longer we need to we need to improvise better here in the future 
and um, let's begin. Let's begin. This is the the presentation. The presentation. E. Tell me this is correct. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm just clapping with my one hand, man. Clapping with one hand. Clapping with one hand, man. Um, first thing I want to say is uh, thank you. Thank you for the 30 subscribers. It's now up to 35, bro. So um, thank you for the subscribers. Uh, this is not um, this is not a understandable thing that I uh, I don't know uh, expected or something. Um, thank you for all of you guys. You are actually really nice. Okay, like 10 of you, maybe maybe 13 of you um, uh, got in uh, got in contact with me personally, and 99.99 percent of you are just good people good caring loving fucking people okay and it's not really um understandable uh, with people like me okay it's not really something that we 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 just get like that okay so um thank you very much thank you for listening thank you for um not not focusing on me and focusing on yourself and uh, whatever uh, this tv screen has to show you so the presentation context let's go over the context Let's go over the context right here. Where, 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 let, let, give me a second. Give me a second. Uh, the presentation context. The presentation context. Okay. I'm sorry about that. Presentation context. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the importance of the diet and the reason you should start it. Okay, because a lot of people don't know the any important. They don't, they don't know any importance to any information but especially the diet okay a lot of people even don't believe that this is gonna change something in their life there they'll be like ah oh, i was uh, exactly just like i was just like you i i believed in diet i blah, 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 you know i did uh, basically nothing and tried only one aspect of the whole fucking um world but but i know already better than you okay so shut the fuck up Okay, diet is not important. Diet is fucking important, and we're gonna talk about it today. My story. Uh, some of you have been asking for my story. I don't want to tell it every time uh, from the beginning. So this is. So it's gonna be here recorded with a timestamp. So the next time somebody ex asks me about how the fuck did I got here, um, yeah, it's gonna be here. What has to be understood and then done on the diet? You first. You need to understand the philosophical part, and then you need to do the action part, okay? And sauces and snacks. Okay, we're not a cult here. We're not a... Um, there's a lot of channels out there, raw meat ch channels or whatever. Um, not a lot of them, but some of them are cults, are basically fucking cults. They tell... Uh, they, 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 I don't know. You can't eat... No they, say they, they say they don't eat nothing else than... Uh, nothing other than raw meat, right, which is bullshit, which is fucking bullshit, okay, you live in this world, you're not in a cave somewhere, and you don't have any access to, I don't know, junk food, okay, you live in this world, your mother has, like, um, birthdays, and your grandmother, and, and your fucking family has, um, celebrations and shit, okay, you eat shit, okay, this is not a cult here, we have sauces and snacks, exactly, this is exactly why, Okay, we don't believe that women should do a certain, uh, you know, certain um, thing that a man can't, or a man can do a certain thing that a female can't, uh, can't, and um, all females that do that, whatever the exercise, are mentally ill or something. We're this is nothing, nothing of this sort here. Okay, we're not crazy. We're not a cult, and this is why we have sausages and snacks. Uh, in this presentation tips and tricks for hard situations okay this is uh an, an important thing for a lot of people and uh let's begin let's begin so this is um tips for the diet obviously the english version of it so let's begin what should i why it's so hard hearing yourself back looping looping in your ear why should i diet a lot of people ask, what should I do? In general, to control yourself and to get rid of suffering, of un un of uh, uninvited suffering, of unwanted suffering. Okay? 
suffering that is here just because we do stupid shit, just because we don't care about information or diet or health or whatever. So, and thus to make the world a better place. Okay, you control yourself, you control, um, you control others suffering, okay, you can, you, you, you set a good example, right, you teach others, right, your kids are not gonna be suffering from these things, right, and self-development, okay, uh, that's very important, self-development, because, 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 self-development is very important, whoever uh, believes here in spirituality knows that a soul cannot develop without a body, so while you're here, you better fucking understand and learn something you know uh, more than an autistic child will ever learn hopefully um so in self improvement so why should i die right waking up always ready to party right even with few sleeping hours and i'm and i'm i mean like before you before you before you wake up every day your body allegedly or your body releases adrenaline and shit just to make you wake up okay so in a normal state you should you should through your dream you should already wake up you know what i'm saying you should already wake up before you opened your eyes and you already want to do stuff you want to you want to start the day off you want to you have this and that and you need to go to there and you need to film that whatever post that you understand what i'm saying right so um so you you wake up with the um with uh, with creation okay you basically wake up with the ability to create which is really fucking important which is really fucking important because we have a lot of thieves more than creators in this um stupid fucking world besides that going to bed whenever you want and feel like it yeah you do you have any uh, you have you have the you have these problems and either you or your friends have these problems one of them a hundred percent um they can't go to bed you need to go to bed you need to wake up tomorrow you need to whatever do your fucking uh driver's test i don't know you need to i don't know what the fuck you need to do you need to go to sleep you want to go to sleep but you can't your body's all oh yeah shit let's um you know let's uh, uh slide through facebook or some shit you know or play some stupid game or uh, another fucking stupid uh, mania shit that people have when they when they <laughs> when they have a mania attack you know when they need to fucking sleep but their but, but their um their body doesn't want to sleep so going to bed whenever you want very important and feel like it okay when you go to bed you know you're not supposed to feel adrenaline you're not supposed to feel any pressure in your fucking um chest whatever okay bring bring oh bring i'm sorry it's um <laughs> i'm not sorry fuck you uh it's small so um it's small okay it's small but it's not my it, it, it's it's not my end game okay it's small i know but it's not my fucking <sighs> what a fucking bitch being with a high and stable <laughs> energy throughout the day and evening a very important thing to do um, some people eat, you know, they, they start off the day, they're fucking tired, 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 they, 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 they need like four fucking hours to wake up, they, they wake up at 12 in, in the afternoon, right, they wake up at fucking 12, they wake, wake up, I mean like really wake up, feeling, wake, feeling energized and shit, then they get, they, they get hungry or whatever, then they eat and then they are tired fucking again, which is indicative of uh, actually actual insulin problems, yeah, sugar problems, sugar sugar um, uh, digestion problems. Okay, so you want to have stable energy. You want to wake up with your energy. You wanna you wanna work with your energy. Whatever you wanna eat something, and when you wanna continue continue with these energies until you go to bed, until you feel like you wanna go to bed. Okay. And there are a lot of people are in a constant hangover, bro. A constant hangover, a brain fog, something. I don't know. I don't know, bro. It's like I feel on coke near those people. Okay, that's how it is. I feel on fucking coke near those people. 
So yeah, to not deal with beginner stages of all sorts of mental disease and not to suffer from those mental diseases. What I mean here, I mean here, a lot of you have um, a lot of you have a lot uh, a lot of symptoms that if you go to the shrink, you go to to a fucking shrink to evaluate you. Okay, to give you your answers, your truth about yourself. And um, so you go to the shrink, and the shrink, um, a lot of them are, aren't gonna give you any diagnosis. Okay, they're not, they aren't gonna say to you that you're, I don't know, depressed. You're um, you have manias and uh, you have manias, depressions. You have um, you have fears. You have paranoia. They're not gonna diagnose you. They think it's normal. It's not fucking normal. Okay, it's not fucking normal going around in the street and. And believing something bad is gonna happen and fantasizing about something bad ha happening to you. That's called paranoia. And the next stage is schizophrenia. Just so you know. Okay? And it's not fucking normal. Just because some shrink d isn't gonna give you a diagnosis on it, right? So yeah, a lot of you, a lot of your friends, like 90 fucking 5% of you have these problems have these problems you think it's normal you think it's just oh it's just my life and i'm just a depre depressed person and i don't know my dad abused me when i was little and now i'm uh, every time i remember it i feel bad bro you feel bad cuz your chemistry is fucked up cuz you have manias and depressions okay your body chemistry is fucked up Either because of diet or because of drugs or both. Okay. Okay. So you need to notice these things. You're not supposed to be depressed. You're not supposed to one day love your mother and then hate her. Then one day you one day you love your partner and then you hate them. One day you whatever, you know? You're not supposed to be like that. One day you like an idea, you have the best business idea ever, and the next day um, you, you, you don't talk to anybody and whatever. You know what I'm saying. Manias, depressions, and people have these all the fucking time. And it's not something that anybody gonna give you a diagnosis on, except me, except this fucking person and other people who don't have these symptoms, who can say for sure that you have a fucking problem, okay? Uh, yeah, and, and stuff like uh, brain fog, right? B brain fog and like people who are just like uh, disconnected. They can't even fucking control their, you know, their uh, state of mind or whatever you want to call it. Uh, so yeah, yeah, don't be with these diseases because this, 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 these little things are going to turn, the, the, the paranoia is going to be schizophrenia, right? The schizophrenia, the epilepsy is going to be autism and so on. This it's the same fucking spectrum of disease. Same fucking spectrum. They the the the, the science, the modern science called. They want to claim that it, it, these are different things. These are not different things. This is the same fucking problem in a different spectrum. Not to deal with beginner stages of physical disease. Yeah, not we, we talked about mental physical disease and not to suffer from those physical diseases. And a beginner stages again. We, we again. You're gonna go to the doctor. The doctor's not gonna say anything to you. He's gonna. Well, yeah. Everybody has a headache once a week. No, that's not normal. Nobody should have a headache once a week. Okay, and not even one once a month. Okay, it's not a it's not a normal thing. But they're gonna say to you it's normal. Just take uh, this um uh, whatever uh, heroin uh, uh, derivative. And uh, sh shut your fucking nervous system up, yeah? Shut your fucking instinct that Mother Nature and Papa Universe gave you. So you can fucking, at least if you're dumb as fuck, your intuition is gonna tell you something, you know? <laughs> and they don't listen to that, man. They, they, yeah. That's fucking sad. So, um... Beginner stages of physical disease. I mean, like, I have a story to tell. I I know people. I know people. Okay, that um, they have a, they have a big family. They have big money. They have a big house. Yeah, in this country, which is a hard thing to do. Okay, they have a big house. They have a big a big family. Um, big intellectual people. Yeah, intel not intel intelligent people. 
we will talk about it maybe in the future if you know already what i mean but they are big intellectual people these are people that uh, the the majority mo the general most of of people would say oh these are smart people these are successful people right they go around with a little mp4 in their fucking pockets right that that's connected to their bloodstream that tells them with numbers tells them how much time they have to live yeah how much how much uh, time they have before they pass out in front uh, uh, you know in traffic or something or while they're doing something um athletic or whatever right if you don't know what i mean it's called um diabetes type 1 yeah diabetic people So this is funny how 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 everybody's like even a person who has like these super survival instinct even a person who's like super knowing you know he's super smart super intellectual in this uh, these modern times he knows how to make money he knows how to you know invest um in the stock market he plays whatever uh, he knows everything but he has this mp4 in his fucking pocket that tells him how much time he has to live or whatever that's fucking insane okay for people who are this smart that's fucking insane that's fucking insane no believe me that's i can't understand it so uh, people like that people like uh they, they have um every fucking week every fucking day they have a tummy ache they have a headache that's not fucking normal that's not fucking normal these things they have um they have joint aches right their jo their joints are aching sometimes not all the time it's okay i can cope right and these things these things this beginner stages of physical disease these things they turn into um serious fucking disease this, this the, the 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 headache it turns into i don't know a fucking stroke or something the the chest pain it it it, it turns into a heart disease you know the uh, the, the the joint pain f turns into fibromyalgia, right? The tummy ache turns into uh, Crohn's disease, right? Or IBS, whatever they fucking want to call that shit. It's the same fucking shit, okay? Different spec, same shit, different cover. How about that? <sighs> so yeah, so it starts with that shit. It starts with you having um um. Inflammation from like I don't know what whatever you wanna um what what's it called what's it called guys come on uh, come on help me out here uh fungi bro fungi fucking funguses people with funguses growing on them and fucking that all that shit it turns into cancer eventually bros it turns into fucking cancers so yeah so please so please if you if you have anything of the sort. Think fucking twice, okay? Think about you, your children, your fucking future, this world, what you are projecting to others, yeah? Yeah, when you fucking eat those chips in front of, you know, in publicly, whatever. Yeah, that's a fucking, that's, that's a bad thing to do. That's a bad example to set. You're not a fucking six-year-old. And nobody fucking cares. A fat little crying six-year-old that nobody fucking cares about. No, no, no. You're an adult person. Children look at you. Okay, you have a family probably. You have like close friends. You can set a fucking example, believe me. You can fucking set an example. And um you you better do that. You better do that unless uh, I don't know. Unless you're just a person who likes to suffer and you just don't complain about it. You just don't you just close your mouth and nobody hears a fucking word, a fucking sound. Nobody smells anything out of you. Nobody hears anything out of you. Nobody can even fucking see your sad little depressed stupid face every fucking morning if that's the case yeah go ahead go ahead go fucking kill kill yourself but it's not the case you're living here with us you fucking egotistical piece of shit Woo! not to give birth to un underdeveloped crybabies which we just talked about with misaligned teeth yeah with jaws that don't have enough uh space for their teeth because the mother didn't have enough nutrients to give to that to, to that um offspring, right? 
Did you see the nutrition presentation? Pottinger's cats? No room in the jawline? Wonder that hap how that happens in nature. In um, carnivorous animals. Asthma, addictions, acne, and mental problems. Okay, you don't want to have children. Like this is not normal. I know a lot of people are gonna say to you, "Hey, this is normal." And my kids, my kids are just a little bit of a, you know, they're just a little bit of a troublemaker. I just give them a little pill. I just give them a little bit of sugar. I just give them a little cake before uh, before bed, and they calm down right away. I'm a good mother. Fuck you, you fucking stupid witch. 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 I can't fucking do this. I hear myself. <laughs> and, and the slightest delay, bro. It's so fucking annoying. Okay. You don't want to have this. You don't want to give birth to this. The children are suffering and we are suffering. So fuck you. Stupid idiots. Um... Yeah, uh, I think it's a, it's a, we got to that point. To not, uh, to not go through dental surgeries and operations and to make your own teeth uh, and to take your own teeth to the grave. Yeah, you're, you're a fucking predator. You know what's a predator without teeth in nature? You know what that is? You know what that is? That's a woman without a womb. That's a male without sperm. That's what it is, basically. Okay, so you want to take your fucking teeth to the grave, and don't believe anybody who s says that um that you need um sir it's just genetics or whatever they want to say, or it's just uh, you eating shit when you were younger. No, 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 bro, it's you not getting any fucking nutrition since the age of fucking zero, basically any nutrition that a carnivore needs. So teeth are not supposed to fucking rot. And you're not supposed to get uh, to, to, to to come to a state where where you need emergency surgery in your fucking mouth because you can't even uh, complete the day without uh, suffering too much. Remember what we talk about suffering? Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, you go to the dentist, they, they discover some little hole, they drill the hole even fucking more and then they fill. And then they bill you. With money. Um, and it's crazy. It's fucking crazy. Have you ever been to the dentist? Have you ever just laid there on the fucking table? You just lay on the table and let another human being just surgically fucking drill your teeth and shit. Bro, this is the craziest shit I ever done in my fucking life. Naturally, this is the craziest shit I ever done. Naturally. And this is fucking crazy. People go there every fucking week. Every fucking year. Every two years. Three years. Five years. And that doesn't matter. You're not supposed to be there. Every fucking cell in your fucking body. Of your. The last fucking bit of your intuition. Tells you. Don't lay in that fucking chair. Don't let another person. Do this to you. And you're just laying there. Taking your pills, taking your whatever, just to fucking to to quiet down the the, the intuition, right? Your you, whatever whatever it is that is yelling at you for doing the stupidest thing fucking ever. And hey, the last time I fucking checked, if somebody puts something in your fucking mouth, but he better pay you, right? No, yo, no, you're gonna pay him. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm gonna, wait, 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 wait. I hope you can hear that shit, uh, that's, uh... We're working on it, okay? <sighs> Do not go to, uh, to into treatments, surgeries, or take any pills that treat the side effects of the problem and not to, uh, and not the actual problem. Right, so you wanna take care of your diet. You wanna diet, cause you don't wanna go to the hospital. You don't wanna go to that white fucking cold, stupid—I don't know how to even call it. 
evil place, basically. Evil fucking place, man. Nobody needs to be there. Only emergencies need to be there. Right? Only fucking emergencies. How many emergencies do we have happening around every fucking second? Not a lot, okay? Have you been to the fucking hospital? Have you ever have you ever been there for like a day? Did you ever sleep there? Did you hear the sounds they have in the in the in the hallways there? <laughs> you fucking crazy people and you just lay there and let the dick of the doctor throat you. That's fucking Bro, I like dick, okay? <laughs> I like it all, okay? I like it all. But I'm not a faggot, okay? Like you. Fucking hell. So yeah, and and taking shit that um that um treats the side effect of the problem, which is even worse. Right? If you are gonna be in that place and whatever, go through the whole thing. So at least you're gonna treat the problem, right? Nope. To not be a burden on the people who surround you, yeah? Those very same people you sometimes claim that you love. Okay? Love is an action. Eventually. It's supposed to be an action. It's supposed to um, express itself through action. You can't just say to somebody, I love you, and that's it. Oh, I'm sorry. And that's it. You can't say those things. You need to actually do. You need to act on these things. Yeah? So, you, a lot of people, you say, Oh, I love you so much. You take care of me. You whatever. Bring me that and whatever. Take care of yourself first. Okay? And this is why this episode is here. Diet. Take care of yourself first. You don't want to be a burden. And again, we're, we're, we're talking about suffering here. You don't want to bring, to create fucking suffering in this world. Think about it. Think about it. Think about what you are truly doing here. Creating suffering by eating your shit junk, not thinking about anything. Even if you are alone, you live here, okay? If you were in a, in a, in a isolated, isolated island by yourself, not touching anybody, all right, you could do that. You can be the sickest fuck ever. You can fucking die for all I right, fucking care. But not here, not here, not in front of uh, of of people who want to live, people, kids that need examples. Um, you know, people who want to just go by their day and not fucking help somebody, help somebody change their diaper or whatever the fuck you need. Do you realize every time? you're stupid, somebody needs to be smart for you, if there are people around you that care about you and love you, every time you are stupid, somebody needs to be smart for you, every time you, you're you late for work, somebody needs to suffer for you, okay, every time you, uh, somebody needs to, uh, in a good world, in a world where we help each other, and that's okay, you can help people, that's cool, that's super cool, we are the strongest people ever and we're gonna help everybody. But, f but we have a problem when those fuckers are doing this on purpose, are doing... On purpose, yeah, on purpose, on purpose, yeah, on fucking purpose, they know. Okay, so we have a problem here, folks. We have a problem with people that claim that they love something or care about something. And we have a huge problem. People who are claiming this and don't have in a, don't have a standard for their diet even. That's a problematic person. That's a person who his his um glass house is gonna shatter one day. Uh, why should I die? To improve the world by taking responsibility, right? We just talked about it. responsibility, knowing truth, which is really important. Knowing what works, what really fucking works. And by erasing unwanted suffering from it, right? Okay, so we're gonna have a round of applause for that. 
and now we're gonna start with my story this is my story this is not for everybody this is gonna be like a this is gonna be like a a long session I guess so you can skip I have timestamps I have everything uh, and go fuck yourself you can skip for, uh, for the tips and whatever believe me I don't want to do this but um I have to because people are fucking asking uh, so yeah so my story let's begin our story my story it's my story it's my story my story my story let's let's have a let's have a <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to say a sip, but my brain wanted to say whip. I came from a family that has poor culinary knowledge. Okay, my parents, they don't know shit. My, my mothers, grandmothers, they don't know shit about diet, about food, nothing. All they know is slave... Uh, slave menus you know what i'm saying potatoes uh, baked potatoes salt uh, bu pasteurized butter right which is the best thing we ever had in this house so when the best uh, uh, the culinary knowledge was poor so the best home dish we had has uh, had was tap water in a pot with salt and spices okay dry non-fatty chicken pieces uh, chicken breasts more specifically, and potatoes or spaghetti in a pot, this old thing, with bread on the side. This dish is called chicken soup in our home, and so is in many other homes, okay? I was never taught anything about the importance of nutrition, how much it will affect me, uh, uh, my, life, my, life, my, life, my life in the future. And how much it affects the world and those who surround me. I were, I was, nobody ever sat with me and told me, hey, hey, bruh, hey, bruh. Did you know that if you continue eating this shit or that shit, whatever, blah, 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 you're going to have rotten teeth. You will have uh, surgery in your mouth, in your tooth. Okay. You would have back, back problems. Yeah. Back pain, back ache, back ache. Spinal, <laughs> you know, the, you know that um Mike Tyson interview. Hey Mike, what's the uh, what's the what's the type of injury? What do you mean by that? Your back is broken. What a, a vertebrae or, or well, what portion? Spinal. Spinal. <laughs> I was never taught anything of the importance of nutrition. Okay, nothing. Basically nothing. Nobody ever told me it has a huge fucking effect on my life. On everybody's life on this world, okay? It's the same fucking reflection, eventually. Anything but just don't eat too much shit, alright? Just don't eat too much shit. Too much junk, alright? Whatever junk meant. That's the best piece of advice I ever got. The based. Oh. Because of that, I was a problematic person mentally and socially. Okay, I was really problematic, especially in the late teens. I was really problematic. I had like I had many as depressions. I have uh, I had sleeping problems, and um, the whole lot, the whole lot, the teeth problems, the back aches, the 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 the, uh, the tummy aches, the whatever, the diet problems, you know, nutritional problems. Uh, when I don't eat the whole day, and then I binge on some fucking bread and pasta and sweets. Fucking horrible, man. Fucking horrible. I, I'm sorry for whoever knew me before the age of 23. Okay? I'm sorry. Basically. Lack of sleep, depression and manias, anger, and so on. I had a rough ride. And on that note, not a healthy one. Okay? I uh, Not a healthy one. I did drugs. I was outside. I, I was outside. Okay? Living on the streets with... Other uh, drug addicts and you know homeless people, whatever. So not a healthy one, and uh, that led me to the dentist at the age of 22. Again, where I was a dentist at the age of uh, 12, but um, unfortunately, when you're 12, uh, grown-ups can tell you that sucking dick is okay, and you're like, yeah, yeah, oh yeah, it's okay. Yeah, are you sure it's okay? Yeah, yeah, it's okay. You can suck dick 
all you fucking want. How old are you? Six? Yeah, you can suck dick. Oh, cool. And they're gonna fucking believe you. That's the sad thing about it. It's a beautiful thing, right? It's a beautiful thing in children, but it could be a very fucking ugly thing also. So, um, I just came there and went and, um, gave that man to, you know, my mouth. I went to the dentist, my teeth, my, I went to the dentist, he discovered a hole in my tooth. Me, as any other person who was, uh, uh, as any other person who was sure that brushing teeth and staying away from chocolate and sugars will keep your teeth healthy, right? That's what everybody says, that's what everybody knows, that's what the dentist says. Me, as someone who did not eat a lot of sugar, I was like, what, bro? I, I don't eat a lot of sweets, what? Carbs, maybe, fibers and shit, right? But compared to other, compared to my friends that drank Coca-Cola all day and whatever, I thought I'm, compared to others, I don't have any sugar problems. So, as a person, the thought so highly of myself, immediately I suspected something, so I asked the doc, what keeps the tooth from rotten? What keeps the, what keeps her, you know, you're a, you're a doctor, right? You should know. I don't know shit. I'm just a stupid person, right? You're the expert. You the expert. I wanna suck the cock of authority. Can you give me the answers, please? So he answered, it's the minerals. Aha, uh -huh. it's the minerals. The mineral, uh, oh, viva la mineral. Uh, <laughs> it's the minerals in your saliva. If they are not, if they are out of balance, then your oral health suffers. So I asked, if it's the minerals, what keeps them in balance? What keeps the minerals in balance? They don't just appear there, right? And here I either push him to the limit of what he knows, or either push the limit of what he can say to me as a professional advice, or both, I don't know. But he, um, uh, I don't know why I skipped this, but he basically told, he basically told me that he doesn't know anything. And I was like, what the fuck, it's a doctor, you're, you're, you're changing my body forever, right now, you're changing my body forever, and you don't even know why that change is happening? So either way, I refuse to get any drilling on any tooth, and I start realizing that maybe a guy who has the title of a doctor doesn't really know how to heal the problem itself. Or the uh, true cause of the problem, okay? Doctors who don't know true health. Doc doctors who don't know how to prevent disease. Amazing system, bros. Amazing system we are having. Um, so yeah, so I realized that he doesn't know shit and I need to go home. So I went home, I started researching about human teeth and teeth health in general. One of the most noticeable facts was that there were some places where ancient human skulls were found with all of their teeth still intact. I almost burped. With I'm gonna let it out next time. No warnings. With all of their teeth still intact and no signs of tooth decay, People who are age 60 plus, skulls that are age 60 plus and they, they, just, they, just, they just lay there in the fucking ground and the teeth are okay. Better than ours. From there I, I learned about uh, people who lived without dentists or teeth brushing, right? From there I learned about a leading dentist who lived in America about 100 years ago named Weston A. Price and his research book named Nutritional and Physical Degeneration. Afterwards, I found the, the Western A. Prowse Foundation and people like Natasha Campbell McBride and more. I talked about it. I, I, I talked about the foundation and I've talked about these people, a lot of them, Natasha Campbell McBride and everybody in my um, nutrition presentation. You can go watch it there. And if you haven't, I really suggest you do because you won't understand anything that's happening here. Um, basically. If you don't know the whole um, subject. So, um, 
uh, people like Natasha Kanda McBride and more from the Western Air Press Foundation, I first realized that health comes from animal-based foods. That, that this is this is the first thing I realized that uh, that health comes from animal-based foods. Why are my teeth rotten? Because at this age, because um because I wasn't eating any fucking animal product. I was eating chicken in tap water. Okay, fatless, dry chicken breast in fucking tap water with spices. That's what I ate all of my life. And unfortunately, it's not enough. So, I real the, the first thing I, I realized it it comes from animal based foods, right? Cooked, non cooked didn't didn't occur to me uh, uh, at the time. So I hoped on Natasha. Uh, so I hopped, hoped, I hoped, I hopped on Natasha diet. Natasha's diet protocol, GAPS, Gotten's Physiology Syndrome. She has a spectrum to her diet. The spectrum goes by the severity of the patient's disease. For example, patients with more severe illnesses like chronic gut issues, uh, Crohn's, IBS, autoimmunity, Crohn's, IBS, fibro, whatever, schizophrenia, epilepsy, or um, how is it called? Multiple sclerosis or whatever. Autoimmunity, schizophrenia, epilepsy, okay? Uh, people like that with uh, with uh, with more serious problems can't eat plant foods or seeds nuts because then their symptoms would return. That's her product. That's her from her um clinic, from her patients, from her experience. Okay, so these people with severe um severe issues, more severe issues, they can't touch a, a plants or seeds or nuts. No breads, no nothing for them. They are strictly carnivore, pl uh, plus minus. They they are strictly carnivore on her um, uh, protocol, um, and these patients need to need to sit on the protocol for at least two years, sometimes more. Depends on the problem and what age did they start the diet. Okay, so basically, it's um, the more you the, the the sicker you are, yeah, the 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 deeper the problem is. Right, um, the less plants you can eat, basically. That's that's her protocol, basically. So after a period of uh, a period where they do not eat plants or seeds, the patients, she says that it's possible to creep back plant materials into the diet slowly and only fermented plants. Right. Logic behind this uh, one is uh, is to let the germs to at least digest some of the fibers and some of the plant material and turn sugar sugars into acids. Right, uh, sugar into lactic acid. I said I'll try this. Right, I'll try eating seven. I don't have any schizophrenia or something. I don't have any IBS or so. I have problems, but but it's not that bad. So I'm gonna try just eating seventy percent of my food cooked animal products and thirty percent is gonna be. It will be homemade fermented uh, breads and vegetables that I made in my home. Wasted like fucking four hours a week in the kitchen. Uh, so the first thing I noticed is that my depression attacks were gone almost instantly. Okay, I had depression attacks. I, I I thought it was just me, just because of my sexuality or because my... My father, my mother, my friends who abused me when I was little. Okay. I had depression attacks. And I thought it was, again, just like any other normie. You think it's, um, it's because of the world. It's because of uh, something, something else is to blame. Not me. Not my actions. Right. So the depression attacks were gone almost instantly. Almost instantly. I forgot about fucking, uh, uh, about feeling depressed. Really, like feeling really down, and and every, every everything's fucked, and you don't want to do anything, and your mother is stupid, and and your friends are dumb, and your whole childhood was shit, and you were you're just a uh, whatever. That's depression, okay? So d these depression attacks gone almost instantly, like a fucking week. I ne I never even fucking. Understood it until I, I was like two weeks without any depression attack, and I was like, "Wait, how, what happened to my thoughts? What happened to my, to, uh, to you know, to the those moments when I was I would just sit there and um and and everybody everything was crap and shit like that. What happened to those? 
I must have switched the brain, switched the life, right? I, I must have switched realities or something. For them to stop. The first thing I know is that it's my depression attacks were gone. Besides that, lots of... Besides that, lots of things have changed in my behavior on this diet, okay? You will change. Your behavior is going to change 100%, uh, 2000%, okay? It, just, just fucking try it. Just fucking try it. Look, just try it on your dog. His behavior is going to change, okay? And I started reflecting more on it, on my behavior, and started noticing my body chemistry and emotions. That's really fucking important to notice your um, your body chemistry and your emotions, your, um, your uh, patterns, you know? Your patterns, that's also very fucking important. And eventually, w when you see it from the uh, third person view, right? Eventually, to control it. To have more control, to transmute these things into other things. So it's re re really important, really fucking opened my eyes. I, I really fucking, I really started to understand what people are fucking talking about. What smart people are talking, what smart, balanced people are talking about. Okay, I started to go to bed and uh, uh, waking up uh, whenever I wanted, just like in my teens. Uh, I never had a problem with waking up in my teens. I had a problem with going to sleep, but I was I I never had a problem waking up. I I, I would always wake up like feeling like a million bucks. Okay, um, but going to bed I had problems. I had problems, and these uh, these went like in two weeks. I didn't have any problems in any problem anymore with going to sleep. I would just uh, if if wanted if. If in the past it took me like 40 minutes, an hour to go to sleep with all of these thoughts and adrenaline and all the fucking stupid body chemistry bullshit you have when you're supposed to fucking sleep, yeah? Um, when all of that was happening, my self-esteem, it was lowered, right? So my self-esteem came back. That's a huge thing. A huge thing. My testosterone went up for a couple of months. That's a huge thing too. Um, if you know what I, what I'm doing here in, in my, you, you know what I'm doing here. You know what I'm doing in my life. Testosterone. I take blockers from testosterone, and my testosterone went up, went up to almost um to to like to an extremely high female level of testosterone, which suppose which supposed to fucking raise red flags. And like to say something to you, if a person takes blockers, chemically fucking blocks himself from this material, from the substance. And then when I change my diet, it actually goes up. Uh, this, this is for all the men. This is for all the females here who have like problems with their, uh, with their menstrual cycle. You have, um, you have, you have pains, you have, um, you have, you know, emotional fucking breakdowns or whatever. Mood swings, you wanna, you're, you're hungry, you're whatever. It's not supposed to happen. Headaches, it's not supposed to happen on your period. You're not supposed to fucking notice that period. Not so much. Okay, not so, it's not supposed to debilitate you. Literally, turn you into a handicapped person. It's not supposed to do that. Females, and this is for you, okay? This is the testosterone, okay? This is, you need some fucking meat in your life. Lady. Crazy lady. My cholesterol went up into the zone of the lowest... Mor uh, my cholesterol, yeah? Went up into the zone of the of the lowest mortality rate compared to blood cholesterol and it was at the top. So there's a there's a epidemiological study. It's an epidemiological study, but it's a whole... It's a, uh, a worldwide study, right? It's a worldwide study, about, uh, and it compares, now, uh, as I remember, it compares the cholesterol level people have, yeah, and the percentage of heart attacks they have in, in those gr groups of people that have that much cholesterol in their blood, right? Free, free cholesterol, this is total cholesterol, this is not uh, only LDL, only HDL, or oxidized cholesterol, which they can't even fucking measure, by the way. So it went up. 
um, it went up to like from let's say let's say they want you to be they want you to be I don't know if uh, what picograms or whatever what measurement um, your specific uh, uh, clinic uses or whatever in here it's picograms for milliliters I think I think I guess I don't remember right now and um they want you to be at 160 pgml right they want you to, this is the top 160 i was at no they wanted me to, want you to be at 140 i was all my life i was an 160 before the diet before anything i was 160 uh, total free cholesterol right right total cholesterol so um they want you to be at 140 so even before i changed the diet the cholesterol was too high for them the doctors would say well your cholesterol is a little high okay so even that was too much you know what uh, where it went it went to 470 something like that from 140 to 470 it it was there it uh, it was high like that for like three months four months and then it started to go down and it went down and went down and went down to where to the to 220 220 total cholesterol which is the lowest mortality rate compared to blood cholesterol from heart disease in that study and i was like fuck man if anything's like more obvious than this and of course i knew a lot of doctor th there's a guy the, um i th i think dr feldman whatever feldman something like that Th Thomas Feldman, something like that, and he did um, he did a cholesterol check on himself while changing diet. So he went from carnivore to uh, carbohydrate to processed meats, whatever, blah blah blah. And he fucking measured his cholesterol every fucking hour of the day. Okay, that's a good measurement. That's what they need to do to actually conclude something about you. That's what they need to do, and he did it. And um and I watched uh, people like that and uh whatever and he he called it what he what he called these people that um people that go carnivore and um and co the cholesterol is going up and then down really up like for uh, lean mass hyper responders that's how we call them if you wanna search for that fucking term and that's that's it that's just people who switch to a carnivore diet they'll cor they'll, they their cholesterol goes up to a high 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 place right and then it goes down why does it go up the body probably uh, got a chance to fix itself right cholesterol 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 is your hormones right it's your brain it's your tissues it's a lot of things uh so i started working out again by by actually wanting it you know by actually waking up and fucking well i'm gonna uh, i wanna wake i wanna wake up and exercise i wanna i wanna you know oh, stretch and feel so good suddenly i don't feel so lazy anymore i wanna jump i wanna you know i wanna run i wanna fly like the sky's high So I got my melter, mental sharpness back, which is a huge thing, a huge fucking thing. I was looking for that one. Mental sharpness back, my memory, and the desire to find the next bit of uh, of info in life. You know, the next bit of important information. Your my um my 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 value for information came back. Uh, fucking one of the, the the most important things in my life that I have noticed that I have knew about myself right was this was my desire to find my again how did i fucking say it my um value for information very important for me very important for everybody here right but um yeah and i lost it and then i got it back just like old times my tooth hurt less yeah that's after a month today i don't even feel it uh, I could actually chew with it. Uh, I I can't. I couldn't chew with it before. Like nothing, nothing, not even bread. S uh, so I stopped bleeding from my gums. That's another thing I noticed. And gums turned pinkish. Uh, I had um. I had reddish gums, which is indicative of gingivitis, right? 
I had reddish gums. And uh, folks, I fucking, I fucking, I wish I made a list of every fucking thing that changed, that I noticed, every fucking problem that I ever fucking had, that it was, that the that is gone because of the diet, and I'm I don't even remember me having that problem anymore. So I wish I had that list. Okay, we would have a video for more than two and a half hours or whatever is uh, the link is gonna be here. Uh, so there were certain. So this is me, right? This is me. Um, right now I'm eating the Gaps protocol, which is um no, fer fer fermented vegetables. Only fermented vegetables, only fermented grains, and cooked meats. Every meats, fish, whatever, everything cooked, right? So there were certain things that did not heal on this diet, like dry skin on my face or feet, muscle spasms, especially after workouts, right? You're just laying there and and your and your muscle just spasms. I thought that was normal. And since the age of about 17, I had a problem where my back started to hurt every time I would lean forward slightly for a period of time, like like washing the dishes or something, like right? So um, so I would wash the dishes for like 10 minutes, leaning leaning forward a little bit, right? And my back would start to fucking hurt, and I was like, "What? I am I'm 21, I'm 19, I'm 21. What the fuck is happening to me?" I was like, oh, it's, that's normal. Everybody complains about back pain. Oh, I'm, I'm lucky I'm not in this situation, right? I'm lucky I'm not worse, right? Says the stupid fucking slave that doesn't know anything. Could be worse. Uh, that did not... Yeah, it could be worse. It could, it could always be fucking worse. That's a good attitude. Um... Back started to hurt every time I would lean forward slightly for a period of the time, and that did not seem to go away on this protocol. Not my back pain, the teeth. I I thought they were gonna heal better. That didn't go away. The spasms, dry skin on my face, dry skin on my feet. Sometimes that wouldn't go away. It got better, but it wouldn't go away. It got better, it, but it, it it didn't go away. And I'm not a person who uses creams and lotions and potions and shit, okay? I just eat. This is me, raw, raw, raw. You get it? And to add to that, on the first two days, I would quit the protocol. I quit the whatever. I would I would eat like regular pasta and rice and whatever. Symptoms would come back instantly. Instantly, I would have the back pain and whatever unfortunately i do need uh, i need i need to also warn you about eating fermented plant materials and having to fart twice a day twice an hour sorry twice a day that's still a lot you're not supposed to fart by the way uh, so i'm having to fart twice an hour so i dropped the plants and the seeds and just kept on eating strictly animal products so i dropped um, the fermented plants because I, because my, um, my digestive system would tell me that's not for you, okay? You're not supposed to be bloated and farting all day. It's not supposed to, I'm not a cow. I'm not a cow. I don't have, um, four fucking, not four, like, like 15 pounds of, um, germs that can turn plant material into saturated fats and cholesterol and vi and whatever, right? Nutrition. Basically, for the cow. I don't have this. I'm not supposed to fart all day. And you neither. That's for all the girls here, okay? Girls are not, girls are not farting. Uh, how, how's, that, how's that phrase? Uh, girls don't fart. Oh, you silly. Girls don't fart. <laughs> yeah, you do. You do. You eat pizzas and shit. You smell... You have fucking fun guys and shit. Not all of you. Not all of you. Some ladies are. Um, I wish. Um, <laughs> I wish. I wish I was a fish. But a lot of you, the mo the majority of you are crazy bitches. Crazy bitches with fucking uh, with mental problems and physical problems and whatever. And men too. And men too. But like, I'm just trying to push on the female button. On the female. On the motherly health. Uh, you know. The person who is supposedly controlling the diet in the house, right? Controlling the kitchen, knows how to cook and whatever roles you want to give that fucking poor thing. 
which is called a woman. <laughs> Let's just continue, okay? Let's just continue. One beautiful day. So I stopped the seeds and plants. One beautiful day, I had an accident with a 100-pound bar on my shoulder. It was 115 pounds, okay? I just, I just don't want to... I just don't want to... <laughs> my sh I fell down and it hurt my spine basically with a bar with a hundred pound bar on my shoulders didn't ri realize it at first but closer to bedtime when you you know when you come down and you and your adrenaline drops and you start to really feel your body after whole days of work and whatever you after whole days of activities but closer to bedtime I really started noticing the damage I have done to my spine you know what damage that is? Spinal. I felt, it felt like the back pain I had in the past just, just worsened three times as much. Three times, the back pain I, I had when I was washing the dish, it worsened like three times as much and hurt all the time. Not only when I'm bending right now, it hurt, I felt it all the time, okay? But I wasn't worried because I had the best diet in the world, right? I have, I'm a, I'm a carnivore, I eat cooked meat and shit. I only eat cooked meat. I I make fish I made fish bone broth and in that bone broth I made uh, beef meatballs from beef. I was a carnivore, okay? I had the best diet in the world. After about the first, the uh, after a after about a period of two months, the pain got worse from evening to evening after work. When you get home, you can f really feel your body. That's when it came out. So, th the pain. So, it came to a point where some nights I was losing sleep because of the pain. Okay, I couldn't, I, I couldn't lay on cert in certain positions. I couldn't lay on my back and just, and just go to sleep. I couldn't. The back would hurt again. As a person who refuses to accept these kinds of shallow and controversial limits, right? This is a shallow thing. This is stupid. I'm 21. What the fuck is happening? Right? Uh, and controversial. A lot of people say, oh, it's genetic. Oh, it's not genetic. Oh, everybody has an opinion. So it's not so shallow and controversial. I didn't quit. I knew something was stupid here. I blamed myself as the not loser that I am. In this aspect, then I blamed myself and went back to the drawing board. Okay, to look at the mirror, to look at myself, to look what I what am I doing wrong? What have I missed? What haven't I tried? How could I affect the situation? Right? Responsibility. From all the searches I did on this topic, I noticed that some of the experts talked about patients that couldn't even digest cooked meat. They needed to eat it raw in the beginning for the best and uh, for best and proper digestion. So some, a lot of the experts we're having, they talk about raw meat as if uh, it's. It, hey, is it uh, better nutritionally? Yeah, it's probably better nutritionally. Is it um better uh, in this way? In this way? Yeah, it's better. Is it better for digestion? Yeah, it's better for digestion. Then why are we cooking the meat? Oh, germs, bro, germs. Hey, Google that, Google uh, virology. <laughs> Google that shit. Germs cause disease. That's why we cook our meat. I'm an expert. That's what they say. So, um, yeah, about the germs. Did you watch the secret episode already? <sighs> So a lot of the I noticed that a lot of them are talking about raw meat, uh, and it's good. It's good in this aspect, and it's good in that aspect, and it's better than this aspect, and and the people are healing and blah, 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 but germs, bro. Okay. So um, in its raw state, they say it's most nutritional, most digestible, and promotes the bacterial enzyme status of the digestive system. On top of all this, I already knew psychos on the web and in books. Who say that eating raw meat is the most optimal way to go about nutrition and health? Okay, I already knew people, uh, experts, not experts, psychos. People were talking. This is something I missed. This is something I didn't have, didn't try, and I knew it. So I said to myself, "Well, this is the only thing I have left to try on this diet. If this doesn't work out, 
I'm going to have to throw my whole world view about health and nutrition, right? And start all over. It's something that nobody fucking wants to do in their life, no matter what subject it is. You don't want to throw your fucking, all of your experience in the trash because you realize that you, um, went the other way, the wrong way or whatever, right? So the day after I went to my job, office job, in office, a lot of people who have terminals and shit. I didn't take my regular food on purpose, okay? I didn't take my cooked food on purpose. I went to the major supermarket uh, w with a butchery. It has butchery in it. Uh, and bought myself one kilogram of, which is two pounds, of uh, ground beef, okay? Sea salt, a fork, and a plate. I came to my desk, put on some beef, put some beef on the plate, put some plate on the, on the desk, put some beef on the plate, put some salt on the beef, and just started eating. Okay, just starting just like that. I didn't know what is steak tartare. I didn't know what is carpaccio. I didn't know anything about raw meat except uh, that I need to eat it <laughs> to check something. So I fucking um, started in just like that without any any helping hands. How should I say? Except this, the salt, which isn't really helping if you quit it. But whatever, whatever. whatever. It's not about that right now. Everybody took... Every bite I took, every bite I take, every bite I take, uh, every bite I take, I took at the time, I had to fight the, the, the gag reflex, basically. My brain shouted at me all of those years of fear and propaganda I was given through all of the movies, kid shows, medical places, commercial signs, the news, right? They all say fear about those evil germs, okay? Those evil fucking malevolent, <laughs> malevolent, no, whatever. But those evil fucking germs who invade your body with a killer intent and kill you and make you sick. They fucking murder you. These fucking germ, these fucking smart ass germs we are having in this world and kill you and make you sick. I knew my brain was brainwashed. <laughs> I knew my brain was brainwashed. Oh, I know my brain is brainwashed, okay? Listen here. I knew already about the whole germ theory scandal, right? I knew people who eat and feed their pets ro uh, pets rotten food dishes, rotten meat. They eat rotten meat, okay? So this freshly chopped up meat that I just bought in a butchery this morning, right? Is somehow dangerous? Is somehow more dangerous than the rotten meat? Something's fishy here. So I st uh, after a day, I started noticing my back pain was better. After a day, after a day, it was better, without any doubt. Although I wasn't that excited because I already had days of relief before. And then the pain came back like nothing happened. Worse, okay? Or if not worse. But I stuck to eating raw. I started bringing free range, I started bringing free range, free range chicken eggs with me to work. Uh, so I can drink the yolk after I ate the beef. Yeah, I was no, I was so new to eating raw that I didn't yet realize you can mix the two and call it steak tartare or other dishes and things that you can mix. This is one of the major reasons I'm doing this episode. So it will be easier to understand and do. Okay, don't be like me. Don't just don't be an ex stupid extremist that doesn't care about his social life or whatever life. Goes to the you know to the to the supermarket and just eats eats uh, the, the raw beef with some salt. Don't be like me. Mix it up. You, you, I love yolks. I I fucking love yolks. Okay, this is the the, the best. One of the best. Taste, aromas, aftertaste, whatever you want to call it, textures. I love yolks. Okay, For, since a since a small age. Okay, everybody has had a yolk before. Everybody had a sunny side up um, um, a little eggs, right? So fried eggs. So you had yolks. I I love fucking yolks. If I would have known that dish, if I would have known that you can just filter the 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 protein out, right, the whites. And you can keep the the yolks on the meat and mix it, not mix it up, just keep it under and just eat it with the yolk. I wouldn't even need the salt, no nothing. I wouldn't even gag reflex, actually. 
I, I like yolks so much. So mix, mix things up, okay? Mix things up. If you like raw fish, mix the raw fish. If you like uh, whatever, you know? If you like some spice, I don't know, mix that a little bit, you know? Mix it a little bit in your ramen. If you so cherish that spice and whatever, you can't live without, do it, you know? Fucking do it. But just, just make sure 99% of your diet is what it's supposed to be, naturally. At least make sure uh, of that. After about two days, the back pain was almost gone completely. It uh, uh, it was obvious and uh, it was an obvious and huge sign. But I, I was so I was so skeptical, bro. Uh, and I still didn't want to believe it. I didn't want to believe that the pain was gone. After three days, the pain was so better, so much better. That uh, so better <laughs> that I had to stretch and put myself into certain position just to really check if I had that pain. If just if it's really there yet, you know. I was like, "What the fuck? I can move? It's it's gone." After my back healed, I said, "Maybe I can go back to eat and cook now, right? It's it's just a healing thing. It's just um, Excuse me. It's just a healing thing, right? It's just um, a period where I'm going crazy and my body's going crazy, and I just and and I just met some tribal people, and they're just giving me some blood and rotten, uh, whatever blood and raw, raw meat and raw milk and shit, and then I eat it and I go to sleep, and then I wake up healthy, and then I can go back to eating cooked, right? Because I'm I'm healed now. This is just a procedure for healing extreme uh d extreme damage to your body that's what i thought so i can go back to eat and cook right i woke up in the morning waited till noon because I don't, I don't eat breakfast and i hope you don't eat too Bre eat breakfast too uh waited till noon i ate cooked food beef meatballs cooked in fish bone broth exactly what i mentioned before I sat down with myself after the meal, started talking. To, so, so you won't say that's it's a shitty meal. It was my favorite. It was one of my favorite meals, actually. So I sat down after the meal and I started talking to my stomach. As you know, or I hope you know. I hope you know. You have uh, more neurons in your um, stomach, in your gut lining, in your um, uh, etric, cetric, etric nervous system. More. Um, more neurons than your fucking brain okay so that's to ch tell you something that's to all for all the for all the people who talking to my stomach are you fucking crazy that's for all the people yes i'm fucking crazy yeah whatever she sort of immediately she she the stomach my stomach the lady she sort of immediately told me what in the world have you given me what am i supposed to do with this dead and dry thing I said to myself, maybe I was wrong. Maybe cycles were right. Maybe the cycle, those cycles on the web, maybe do, they were right. And I was wrong. And not them, but nature itself. And not them, but nature itself was right. They did not invent this. They just took example from carnivorous animals in the wild. Right? They just compared their digestive tract to our digestive tract right like i did in the in nutrition episode like a lot of people are doing and did already in the past we already knew these things this is nothing new this is nothing fucking new there's a huge fucking cult that keeps information from keeps important information from getting to you okay that are responsible for the, the lies and the shit that we have in our world okay and this is one of them they are actively fucking um, hiding this information from you. And this inf information is out there. It's uh, exactly like any other truth. It's one. It's always under our noses. And it's fucking simple. Okay? Once you realize it. It's fucking simple. Once you see, once you see it, it's simple. This is the most simplest thing. You would ask yourself, well, how the fuck? How the fuck didn't we realize it sooner and this is one of those things eating fucking raw meat not cooking not thermally destroying your mother nature given food okay this is one of those things 
I need scissors. Fuck it. <laughs> right? As usual, it seems that there is nothing new under the sun and nothing is smarter than the creation or creator himself. Whatever the fuck you want, whatever the fuck you believe in or you want to believe in. Nothing smarter than creation or the creator itself. There is nothing new under this fucking sun. Nothing new. Nothing is smarter. You can't invent health again. You can't invent health again. I drove to that butchery again and bought uh, more uh, ground beef and I would never look back at cooked as optimal again. Never, never. I, every time I eat cooked, my stomach tells me the same thing. Every time. So, uh, uh, and I never came back to eating cooked. I eat cooked sometimes. Yeah, I have like uh, pff, going out with my friends, like celebrations, uh, family, you know. I eat cooked. I eat shit sometimes, yeah. But, um... It's not optimal. It's not optimal and you're gonna feel it. Never had the back pain again unless uh, two or three weeks off the diet, which I think that I did try. I, I went like two or three weeks off the diet for a month. I wait, I, 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 I was uh, without raw meat for like a month. It was hard. That's actually st so stupid. It was harder to be without raw meat. I was like, oh, fuck, man. I'm starting to smell and waking up like shit feeling like shit and <laughs> you know and my shit feels like shit i would <laughs> so i would never look at cooked as optimal again so two two three weeks that's an experiment that i did off the diet all other symptoms symptoms went away uh, I'm sorry. I'm, I I just got confused by, by my own, by my own writing. Um, so I get two three weeks off the diet. I get my symptoms back, and all other symptoms went away, like the dry skin and whatever I mentioned before. And believe me, the list is uh, almost endless. I wish I would have the list. I would have done some list on um, things that um that changed okay, after the diet. I was on the diet for a few months. So I read more material on raw meat diets, and one of the books was on an alternative, an alternative vet veterinarian called Raw, uh, by an alternative veterinarian called Ryan Mitty Bones. That's his book. I don't remember his name. I mentioned his name in the nutrition presentation. In the in in the end, we have like uh, people who who are important to follow if you want to go into the diet and shit. So um. Uh, it's there. The book is there and the guy is there. The book talks about pets, especially cats and dogs that originate from wild cats and wolves, right? Originally, that uh, that eat human garbage instead of giving them their natural diet. And human garbage, I mean the the, the veterinarian, the, the pet food, dry pet food, pet food, wet pet food, whatever pet food. It's not food and it's not for your pet. Okay, naturally. Optimally. It's not food and it's not for your pet. So that's uh, what I mean. What I'm, what I mean here when I say garbage. Instead of giving them their natural diet consistent, consist, consisting of 99% raw meat and raw bones, we give them the veterinarians chips that uh, that some nerd, yeah, invented in their lab, and because of that they they smell misbehave and get sick with diseases and inflammation that eventually kill them in an early in earlier 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 <laughs> earlier age than normal and in the end it leads to a painful slow death where you have to actually end their misery by lethal injection yeah that's 99 percent of our of your fucking dogs and this is this is for all the people who say that they love their dogs. I love my pet. Oh, look at me! I'm I'm petting my pet. I'm uh, I'm I'm giving her commands <laughs> via food addiction, right? So all of these people who claim they love their pets, you don't love your pets. We just talked about it. Love is an action. You can't just say I love. I'm sorry. Thank you. You can't just say those things. You need to do something behind those things. 
unless you're a fucking idiot, unless you're a dysfunctional idiot who thinks he loves, who thinks he forgives, who thinks he thanks, right? Who thinks he thanks? <laughs> that's a <laughs> that's a, that's supposed to be from like a rap song or something. So yeah, um, no, where was I? Leads to a painful, slow death. So a little ejects. So for for all those people who claim that you love your pets, please uh, do something about it. But show us, show us you love your pets. Show us, show me, show people who know what the fuck is happening here. Show us. You know, I I had a true story. I ha I once had an ex yeah she had a dog she had a little dog and i don't remember what happened but one day i i am i i i gave her a talk and i was like um do you really love your dog why do you she gave the dog some shit or something i don't know some shit food to eat or something to drink i don't remember you don't do that shit to a dog okay and um as an owner as a responsible human owner and she did something, and and I took her for a talk, and I was like, uh, you you know, if you really care about um about your fucking dog, if you if you really care about your dog, right, you should um take care of her diet. You should um stop give stop doing whatever I saw you do uh, that made me talk to you about right. So um, I talked to her about it, and you know what she said? She said, "Ah, it's okay, it's okay. Um, my dog." she's gonna suffer I'm, I'm i'm suffering too that's what she said to me i'm suffering too in my life that's why my dog is gonna suffer with me with a smile on her face with a smile that's a female that's a human female being that is supposed to give birth to children and take care of these children with another partner right and educate and build a, a create uh, a loving and caring and strong base for a world right? whatever you want to call it whatever you want to see it whatever optimistic way you want to you want to see it as the power of the fucking human you know and her especially as a woman as something that needs to carry that that's something that's more responsible uh, like directly more responsible for the health of the child of the baby something that's a creature that is fucking naturally supposed to be easier connected to their intuition to the right side of their brain right and that's what she said to me so fuck all of you owners of dogs and cats after watching this after knowing this okay and even if you don't know that, that's not a that's not a fucking reason to be a fucking idiot and not learn anything. Okay? So all of you people who fucking give your pets the veterinarian chips and claim that you love your fucking pets. Shut the fuck up, okay? Go fucking kill yourself. Give me your pet. I'm gonna take care of it. Go fucking kill yourself. Please. I'm gonna build you a beautiful grave and we're gonna fucking visit you every fucking day after our um, steak tartare meal that I have with your fucking dog. All of those, no all of that knowledge and my own dog ate that shit. I am reading all of this. I'm not I'm knowing all of this and my dog ate shit. My dog, my mother's dog, but it's, it's it was my dog, you know. It It is my dog. But uh, the 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 direct responsibility is from my mother. She chose to to pick him up, to take care of him, whatever. I was living outside, as I as I told you before, so it was more her dog. Okay, so all of a sudden, like it came from faith itself, right? Or just natural laws, right? If you do something, you if you eat shit, you're gonna be sick. Um, but it was as though it's, it's faith itself. My dog got sick, couldn't walk on his back leg, couldn't walk, like, physically, couldn't walk on his back leg. My, my mother would walk with him on the streets and cry, because he looks like a handicapped fucking dog. Sick, uh, sick, suffering, handicapped dog that can't walk on one of his 
hind legs and on one of his um back legs okay that's fucked up that's fuck that's a huge um hole in your heart that's a nobody wants to fucking see that nobody wants to fucking see that so my mother she would um she would go out with him and I see him like this and she would cry all the time and whatever so my god got sick back leg couldn't walk family took him to the vet of course of course what else are you gonna do i need somebody else to explain to me why wolves are getting sick from um from a nerd invented uh, fucking food in a lab and the vet can uh, family took him f uh, to a vet and the vet can heal dogs just like the hand the dentist can heal teeth right he knows about preventing disease exactly like uh, uh, a, a, um, a dentist knows how to prevent tooth decay. So, as per usual, they put my dog on steroids, blockers, stimulates, stimulates, uh, stimulates. Oh, you get the you get the drift, right? They they put him on whatever gave him. Uh, so he gave him a diagnosis of bone cancer, right? He has bone cancer or bone marrow cancer, something like that, and six months to live. That's what he fucking told my mom. I convinced them to put him on the diet, raw beef and yolks, and after three days, before that, let's uh, let's just fill in the blanks. My mother was really sad after hearing the six months and the blood cancer, whatever, blah blah blah. blah after him taking the steroids and shit because he actually looks and behaves worse on these fucking pills right so it, it <laughs> so he actually looked worse on the pills so my mother started to cry and we had a moment where she just she just couldn't take anybody and you it, it couldn't uh, take it anymore and uh, you, you know me uh, you know me bro i'm i'm just a i'm just a faggot eating raw meat and thinks that he knows everything right that's me realistically okay not a not me on the street and whoever you met uh, not that i mean like realistically truthfully for people this is what people think about me mostly and especially um in the beginning right initially so i know i'm just a faggot who eats uh, raw meat crazy person nobody fucking is gonna listen to you okay <sighs> so she broke down and she cried and she uh, she came on my shoulder came on my shoulder and we hugged and shit and i and me be myself i was like can you fucking try the raw meat please can you listen to me can can somebody listen to me you have no fucking choice that's it that's it your authorities don't know nothing your papa and mama you believed in santa claus doesn't fucking exist anymore right mama right can you fucking try something else please please i know it, it doesn't sound logical to you at all at all but can you fucking try this just try it can you please so i convinced them to put him on uh, my family my mom i convinced her to put it him on the diet raw beef and raw yolks just raw beef raw yolks uh, initially he was only on raw beef because my mother was scared or whatever but raw beef raw yolks after three three days bros three days do you remember what happened in three days with uh, my um joint problems so after three days he went back to walking and jumping on that leg again walking walking jumping walk it like a tucket you know barking happy with all uh, with with, uh, with time his smell improved right i didn't know he, he could improve he's a castrated dog i didn't know there i i thought i thought that castration is the 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 uh, the, the answer to smelliness it's not it's not believe me if your dog is not castrated and he eats uh, like he should eat, he's not gonna smell. Dogs are not supposed to smell. Okay, especially for their mamas. They're not supposed to smell. And if you like the smelly smells from your whatever offspring or whatever you take care of, you have that problem, if not worse. Uh, he had uh, so after three days b b walking and jumping on his leg, barking happy with time, he smell his smell improved. He had calcium bumps. On his elbows, you know that shit. You know, dogs have it. Humans have it too. Okay, calcium bumps. These are fucking. The, the it looks like elephantitis on your fucking elbows, basically. Yeah. So he had that all of his fucking life since like the age of six till the age of ten. He had that all of his fucking life. Calcium bumps. P 
people some some say some say it's because of the um the 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 burnt calcium that you have in milk because you pasteurize it or whatever product you have calcium in that you cooked beforehand right so it crystallizes and then it uh collects in this in your soft tissues this is not really a soft tissue i have a problem with calcium and whatever they're claiming there but um but but it healed it it worked okay so whatever you want to call it, if you want to say that Jesus came and uh, and forgave you because you found the right diet and he he removed my dog's calcium bumps from from his elbows, go ahead, I believe you. Whatever you want, man, it worked. He had calcium bumps on his elbows that went away in a couple of months. Couple of months, he he had um he, he still have he never grew hair on it. He, he has like a bald pinkish spot. But fuck, man, fuck! It went away. The elephant Titus went away, or whatever the fuck it is. He made new dog friends. He was antisocial. Adopted, adopted dog, all of his life on shit food. Has behavior problems. Have has um um you know, blah, blah. You know cognitive problems of realize uh, understanding the world. You know, understand swallowing information as he should. Right. So um. He had problems with these things, and he had social problems. So he made new dog friends, dogs that, dogs that he was scared of, couldn't play with. You know, dogs. The, the, the when you, you know it when you when other dogs try to play with your dog, and your dog is like, "What the fuck are you doing? Why are you attacking me?" Right? Which, which is, by the way, what we have with humans today. Exactly the same fucking thing. Okay, you fucking sensitive little creeps, fucking Teletubbies. Teletubby bitches. How about that? Bitches. Bitches. And, uh... <laughs> so, um... Yeah, uh, people suck. Uh, uh, pe people suck. My dog made new... Do uh, my dog made new dog friends, okay? He had... He, he actually... Uh, became more social. And I could say that about myself, too, with that diet. But, um... Again... The full list is unavailable and he's more attentive and calmer okay he's calm he's actually fucking calm he's attentive he's listening he's staring right huge difference huge difference on my dog on myself whatever so this is the story so my dog healed i healed uh, and if you want you can heal you can improve the world you can stop complaining about shit and actually do something So the first thing to understand and do on the diet. Oh, finally I'm um, I stopped. I stopped telling a story about myself. It's it's so it's so hard for me. The first thing to understand is that you are going through rehab. The first thing to understand is that you are going through rehab. That's the first thing you need to understand first before you do you are going to rehab, and I mean rehab is, go uh, I, I mean rehab like heroin addict, rehab, okay, closer to cigarette smoking rehab, okay, this is what, what it's gonna be, it's gonna be basically rehab, like cigarette smoking, and don't you fucking laugh if you ever, if you never smoked a cigarette, and you're laughing at people who do, and you're like, oh, oh you smoke too much, eating pizza, I have a news flash for you. You're addicted more than that guy, probably, to other things. So, it's a rehab. You need to understand, it's a rehab, okay? You're going to have a tough time. The rehab, is the rehab is going to be from sugars and carbs and fiber. Fiber breaks down into sugar, okay, eventually. So, sugar, why are we... Um, uh, why are we quitting sugar? Sugar, because when we eat it, it goes straight to the bloodstream, increases blood glucose to a higher level than your body naturally makes and wants to make. And wants to maintain in your blood at that moment. The body treats... Treats? Treats sugar exactly like poison. 
and that's why healthy people can clear that sugar from their blood swiftly like within an hour within uh, 40 minutes it also passes through the, uh, their blood swiftly and pe pe and on the opposite side people who have sugar problems uh, th their sugar stays high for a longer period after um yeah so uh, so that's a point i want to get across a big point i want to get across here that uh, your body treats sugar exactly like poison it also passes through the liver and creates a toxic meta metabolite that is also created from alcohol yeah also creates mold in your blood the sugar yeah it uh, if you saw the secret episode you can you know about pleomorphism and shit and your blood actually turns into funguses fungi to eat the sugar in eat the excess sugar you just put in your body literally carbs we quit we quit carbs because they they are made from sugars carbs are made from sugars and when mixed with digestive acids it creates a soapy like slimy substance okay this is why we are cutting carbs and um and they also feed pathogens in your uh, gut uh but that's more of a fiber thing right so uh so carbs quitting because of the pathogens because of uh, uh because uh, they are sugars because they turn into soap with the biles with the stomach acids and bile so fiber we are quitting because eventually it can turn into sugar but the bigger problem uh, is fiber passing undigested through a small intestine intestine which is re relatively sterile in a carnivorous uh dt digestive tract such as ours gotcha there gotcha there then passes to our large intestine to feed germs molds fungi and yeast and with time they develop a hot and lovely home inside of you and and were found to chemically interact were found to chemically chemically interact with your nervous system chemical interaction that include making you feel good by producing a stop a substance similar to opioids to heroin um they can also survive for a long period of time uh a long period on a small piece small piece of fiber i mean um and um, anything i want to add uh, foo, 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 foo. yeah you're not supposed to have so much uh, germs in your small intestine <laughs> and yeah there's a problem with eating fiber there's your that's well, there's your problem first thing you need to do Okay, we understood things, now we do things. So the first thing you, we need to do after understanding is to clear out about two hours a week. Okay, that's all you need to do, actually fucking do with your ass and legs and arms and tongue and fingers. First thing you need to do is to clear out about two hours a week. Two hours a week depends personally on your state how how uh, to get to the market how uh, how far you are from the market from the stores from whatever um so the first thing you, you need to do is to clear out time to go to the market you want to be in a state where your house and fridge have no shit food inside of them okay you want to 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 have two hours, one hour, whatever, three hours a week where you go out, you buy your foods fresh, right? Fresh, unprocessed, uncooked, un whatever foods that you eat, you put it in your fridge and that's the only thing that is, that is in your fridge. You understand? No shit food. You don't want to have any. And if you live with people, let's 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 um. If you live with your parents, you live with other people, whatever. Be a grown up, okay? Just 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 fucking do the do the separation in the fridge and um. You just you just find yourself a nice corner over there. To be in that state, you need to fill your fridge only with these things. Of course, not all of the time. Not all of the time you need to have all of these things in your fridge. But <clears throat> these are the only things you want to have in your 
fridge while you are in rehab, especially. Beef meat, okay? Meat from beef, optional organs, beef, uh, you know, uh, ground beef, whatever, a slice, and you, you're just gonna cut it up yourself to a bite-sized pieces and whatever. Beef, meat, have to have this. This, this is a must-have. 24 hours in your fridge, beef, meat, okay? Fish meat, optional caviar and fish bone broth. Okay, that's an optional thing. Fish, you would want to have fish in your fridge, okay? You would, you're probably gonna miss fish, okay? You miss fish, <laughs> miss fish. <laughs> when you call a fish, um... By another fish's name, <laughs> you misfished it. So you're gonna, <laughs> you want mish in your. <laughs> <mish>. <laughs> Fuck me, man. I'm losing it here. I'm losing it. <coughs> <coughs> ah, fuck. Uh, why am I alone? In this situation, optional caviar and the fish bone broth. Okay, but fish you, you have to you 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 want to have in your in your fridge, uh, fish in your fridge, <laughs> miss miss fish in your fridge, free range chickens. Check the method. Check the method of the free rangeness. Okay, check how they grow their fucking chickens. If they are really free range, if they get at least like I don't know six ten. Eight hours of, of sunlight and being outside on the field, eating bugs, eating meat, right? That's what they're supposed to do. So um, check the method because not all free-range eggs are really free-range. Uh, they can be really um, general with that term. Raw milk. Raw milk. Uh, Should have brought uh, some here. Raw milk. Okay, raw milk. It's optional. Uh, uh, Optional cream and cheese, or blue cheese, if you want to. Um, raw milk is a must-have. You want to have raw milk, especially if you're trying to bulk up and whatever you want to believe in. Uh, raw milk. Raw milk, great thing. You could drink it in, in between meals and shit. If it, 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 could, it could cover your hunger if you have munchies or something, right? So, raw milk. Butter, no question asked. Oysters, shrimp. Calamari, squid, and crawfish, or whatever, that's an option too. Salt, you can keep eating salt. My personal advice is to drop it completely with the rehab to understand and feel in depth what it does to you. Okay, because you will never know what salt or whatever, you will never know what something does to you until you, you quit it altogether and then you try it after a period of time. Okay, then you really know what it does to you. So uh, for the rehab, I would keep it out, just so, just 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 so you can calibrate yourself, okay, to zero or or close to that. That's what you are going to eat for at least two months. For for the strongest of you, uh, you you will probably survive two weeks, okay, probably something like that. I survived two months. This is this is me. This is my strength. I survived two months, and then I and 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 then I just ate something. Two months, I I think, the longest period I have ever had without any shit that I measured, that I calculated, right? That I um that I numbered the that period was uh, about four months, three months and like three and a half weeks. It was almost four months, and then I and then I. I don't remember. It ordered something with my friends or something. Um, ordered something with my friends or something. <laughs> English much? A family... That's what you're going to eat for two months. For the strongest of you. You bring your own food to family meals. Right? And you bring your own food to a sitting with your friends. Me, I go out every Friday today. I go out with my friends... I have I have a few groups of people I sit with, right? Every group every group knows me. On Friday I come with a box, okay? With with um with, ha with about half a pound of of beef and four eggs for the yolks, right? And you know, in a in a 
and a two liter ba bottle of raw milk or whatever to drink while I'm at it. This is the first thing I eat. This is the first thing I eat and that's it. They, they, my friends could eat pizzas. They could eat whatever. This is what I eat. I'm in rehab. I know what's good for me. I know what's good for the world, okay? I take care of myself and the world. As much as I can. It's the same fucking thing eventually. If you really take care of yourself, you take, of, take, take care of, the, of your environment automatically. Okay? You, you set a good example, you, you know, you know how things work, you know how, what to explain to a person, right, to, you know, to solve his problem, to help him, whatever, to erase fucking suffering from this stupid fucking place that we made here, okay? So you bring your own fucking food, everybody, uh, I bring my own fucking food, after I eat my food, after I eat my food, if we, I don't know, we we smoked some drug, we did some drug, we did whatever, we drank something, right? We drank a lot, and that's like four hours after we started drinking, and now I'm fucking hungry, I can eat a bull, right? If that happens, only then will I consider ordering something. And even then, it will be something meaty and rare and raw and whatever. I will try to make it as much as as much as close to my diet as possible right learn learn how to do this learn from a f f crazy faggot like me if you are stuck in a situation where there is a wedding or a party or a restaurant you can always check the menu if you are stuck uh, if uh, the menu for a meaty meal as i just just said uh, in my example of me sitting with my friends on a friday so so you order something meaty, something close to your diet, and ask if they can remove everything but the meat from that dish. Yeah, sometimes you will be surprised finding rare burgers, steak tartare, carpaccio. Uh, three months ago, three months ago, I was sitting um in a, in a fucking place. There was a event, event where my best friends and whatever. So we had a like a goodbye party and shit. And um, we 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 were um, at a place. It was a pub. It was a bar. Whatever. But they have a menu. You know, a pub menu. What can you expect there? Chips, burgers, and shit. You know. So I was like, yeah, whatever. Let's. I'm hungry. Let's check the fucking menu. I checked the fucking menu, and and behold, it had carpaccio. And I was like, what, bro? Carpaccio? Please bring me some. Okay, bring me the carpaccio and please leave everything out except the par parmesan, parmesan beef. That's all I want. No olive oil, no green stinky sticks, no no leaves, please. Okay, beef and parmesan, and they did it, and I ate, and I ate good. I wasted some money. It wasn't the blah, 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 blah. I, it was a Friday, bro. It was a goodbye. Uh, a farewell party to my to to one of my best friends. So I'm gonna fucking eat. I'm gonna celebrate. I'm gonna waste some fucking money and health and whatever. Okay, and I did, and it surprised me. And it surprised me. And some places they have steak. You can ask for rare steak. Okay, so always remember you can just say no, and always remember you can just say no and wait until to, you get home to uh, to eat your food to eat some real food you can just say no remember you're not addicted to sugar anymore you don't have the the st stupendously uh, debilitating uh, hunger uh, hunger um, flashes hunger you know uh, yeah periods you don't have that shit anymore you're not addicted to sugar you can just say no your stomach will understand you in 20 minutes. You can smoke a cigarette, some tobacco or something, right? Something to keep you... And just go home and eat normally, please. But don't eat shit. You don't have to eat the shit. You don't have to um, listen to your sugar cravings or, or carb cravings, whatever. You don't have to do nothing, none of that. None of that. If something shit happens in your life, something really shit happens in your life, and you... And you are depressed right now. You are really depressed right now. Do you eat? 
Do you notice your hunger? No. Start using that. That desperation survival mode. Whatever you want to call it. Okay. Start using that depression. Okay. If you can do it while you're depressed. You can say no to food. While you're not depressed. Okay. It's that simple. If you followed the logic. So why eat like this for two months? You eat like this for two months to quit your habit of eating sugars. So your body can come back to a state where it, to a state where it creates and requires its own sugar and uh, re regulates its own sugar from your fat. Okay, uh, gluconeogenesis it's called, and just like your body likes it, natural your natural state. Okay, when you when you make glucose out of your fat by demand, by regulation of your body. But the major reason, that's sugars, okay, we quit, we, we, that's the sugars. The major reason is to kill off as, as the most complex, what? Is to kill off, I'm gonna guess here, is to kill off as much as, <laughs> as much complex bacteria as possible. Okay, these are molds, fungi, and yeast who for years have been living in your intestines okay intestines telling you what smells good or what tastes good chemically chemically bonding with your brain right and what feels good to eat so you won't be dependent on them that's a huge thing you need to kill off these parasites they need to die you need a period where they need to die off hey guy hey guys fuck off fuck off okay I'm not eating that shit no more. This isn't the house for you anymore, okay? I want my body back, please. Okay? I want my chemistry back. I want my chemistry factory that I have here, right? My natural chemistry factory. My natural happy feeling factory. I want it to work. I want it to work and I want it to be mine. No parasites, please. This is why you quit for two months sugars carbs and fibers okay two months after two months your taste and attraction to plant foods will greatly diminish okay you won't be you won't even recognize your taste and uh, and smells anymore believe me just, just try don't believe me try it fuck me right try it fuck you Things <laughs> once tasted or smelled good will no, <laughs> will no longer. I can't do this while I'm smiling. Things that one, uh, when you're trying to be serious but you feel ticklish inside. That's basically my whole life. <sighs> Things that once tested or smelled good will no longer be that way. For example, potatoes, rice, lettuce. I was once. I was once. I I would. Uh, like in the past I would go into some apartment from my friend's apartment whatever my own apartment I smelled like boiled potatoes in the air boiled I mean like no butter no spices no nothing just boiled potatoes in fucking water and I was like wow that smells amazing everybody's doing up <laughs> somebody's baking a potato Rice, that rice did it to me. Ri just simple old rice, no spices, no tricks, no picks, you know, just simple rice in fucking water, in boiling water. That would, uh, uh, th that would smell good to me. Lettuce, I would eat the lettuce, I would say, like, mmm, it's crispy and it has this leafy taste. And garlic, sesame seeds, and tahini, if you know what it, uh, what it is, and hummus. Um, green onions, tomatoes, cucumbers, and more, more of these things that I, uh, that I loved before, just tasted like plants for me, potatoes just smelled like somebody took a root out of some plant, a, a, some, some sort of starchy root, and put it in boiling water, and now it smells like that starchy root that you put in boiled water, that's, ah, uh, it's like, it's like everything's, <laughs> becomes what it is, you know, suddenly. Lettuce, it's just a fucking leaf with leaf water, with water that tastes like a leaf inside of it. I can't eat lettuce anymore. Cucumber, cucumbers just taste like leaf water to me. And I can't fucking take it. I try, I try to eat, uh, something stabbed me. 
I tried to eat um what was it? It was like a salty cucumber that my mother made for like um for New Year's whatever. And it's like a it's like a plate. You know how you salt cucumbers and shit, right? So uh, it's, like, it's like a plate and uh, it has water and, and salt in it, then cucumbers and um and and then some uh you know some um how is it called? Whatever, bro. Some other plants and spices and shit. Okay, so it's supposed to be pretty tasty for the average human. I ate this all all of my childhood from my mother. I like these, whatever. So and I was high and drunk, super hungry, and I was looking at it and looking at it, and I was like, yeah, I like those things when I was younger. I want to try it. I want to try it right now. And I took a bite. And I just spit it out into the garbage. I couldn't chew leaves, okay, when I'm hungry. And it's such a, uh, I can't even explain it to you. I can't even, I, 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 I'm, I'm not supposed to explain it to you. You, you just fucking try it yourself, okay? I'm gonna stop explaining right now. I'm, that's it, I'm quitting. Oh shit, that's. <laughs> Fuck this show. Uh, so, um, <clears throat> so after two months, your taste will uh, change, and maybe you will finally realize that you are not naturally built to love plant material, not for health reasons, for sure. After these two months, you can maybe start adding salt back. Okay, see if maybe it makes you uh, addicted or something, or does it uh, really help you in any way? You know, you, you, you can really start to see the effects of these things. Now you can add back things and judge if something I ate uh, this week or whatever a few days ago is affecting me right now. Because a lot of people... That's another thing. Another a lot of people are eating shit all day. Like yesterday, I ate rice and pizza and I don't know potatoes and whatever, whatever, whatever. And then the next day, I ate steak tartare. And I think the yolk they, they and after I ate the steak tartare, my tummy uh, hurt. You know, my tummy hurt. It's 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 the steak tartare, right? It's not the steak tartare. It's the shit you're eating that is rotting there in your fucking guts. Okay, and for weeks. That shit, quit everything for two months and eat a bowl of, of rice. Eat a bowl of rice, people. You will fart for a week after. Three, four days, you will fart. You will still fart from the whatever is left from the rice there that is rotten there and feeding pathogens there, okay? So, um, yeah. So you need to get um, a certain balance to know what's imbalanced. Logical, logical. Um, calibration, calibration. Celebration, after the calibration. You can't, you can't celebrate without the calibrate. What can I do more with the food? What food? The food, right? We're, we're kind of specific here. Make sauces. You can make sauces. Yes, you can make sauces on this diet. You everything that is on this list and more, you can mix everything. Just read it for yourself. I'm gonna smoke here. I'm gonna I'm gonna do just read it. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna do some visual effects. <laughs> Shit. It's um yeah, so you can mix uh, egg yolks, you can mix cream, you can mix garlic, you can mix butter, you can um, uh, you can um, mix coconut oil or coconut butter or coconut cream. Real fermented soy sauce, that's another thing. Uh, you just make make sure the ingredients are fermented soy sauce, uh, beans or whatever, soy beans, salt and water, something like this. Fermented soy sauce, real fermented soy, uh, soy sauce. Okay, please, please um, make sure that you're getting the real deal and not some um, caramel, sugar, salt infused uh, shit that is black by chance and it says soy on it. So Tabasco, Tabasco is a, is a. I know a lot of you will say, oh, Tabasco sauces, uh, all sauces are bad, or or or. 
I don't know, or all, you know, all processed food is bad. Tabasco is actually, it's pretty unprocessed. It's pretty, it's fermented chili, um, it's fermented chili in a wooden barrel. And sometimes they add like, uh, yeah, sometimes they have like brands, like not brands, they have kinds of Tabasco that, um, that do have additives and whatever. The regular old classic Tabasco is salt, distilled vinegar, and fermented chili beans. Chili beans? Chili... <laughs> chili bits, you know. Yeah, so, um, so it's pretty good. It's pretty natural. Tabasco, that's a, that's a pretty tasty thing to a lot of people. I personally, me, I hate the fucking, um, the distilled uh, vinegar. I hate it. I hate it. I think it makes me sick. I can't smell it anymore. And I once, I, I again, before this diet, I loved it. I loved it. Uh, now I can't stand it anymore. But um, if you can, and it's gonna help you, um, please try the Tabasco. Don't be afraid. Milk, okay. Another relative, relative, relatively unprocessed ingredients without sugars, carbs, or fiber. Okay. You have a lot of things here to mix. Uh, getting fat. What will, What can I do more with the food? So getting fat on this diet, as you know. Or if you want to believe, growing muscle mass. Okay, either getting fat or growing muscle mass. One of those things. Uh, let, let, let me get something out of the way here. You don't need carbs. To grow muscle mass. You don't need carbs to grow muscle, muscle mass. Muscle mass grows from protein and fat. Okay, that's all you need. You don't need any sugar, any carb, or any fibers to get uh, fatter. Okay, to, to grow muscle size. Or uh, another stupid logic uh, the, the uh, athletic community has. You're burning fat. You need to build up the fat tissue to, 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 you know, to burn it and then turn it into muscles. That doesn't work like that, okay? There's muscles, there's fat. Okay? If you want to get fat, you can add, or if you believe that you need to grow muscle, uh, you need carbs uh, to grow muscles, okay, or sugar to grow muscle mass. You can add relative, relatively unprocessed sugars or carbs like shakes from raw milk. Did you see the, the non-cooking show? Yeah, I have a non-cooking show. It's like 10 minutes. And uh, you can make shakes. You can make shakes with a teaspoon of, of honey and a lot of fat. Fat, protein, honey. You know, fat, protein, sugars. And all natural. All raw. All ready for your body to use naturally as Mother Nature gave it to you. And you fucking idiots, go to a fucking store and get this product, this product, where a company took this product, the milk, the protein from the egg, the whatever, they powdered it up, they heated it up, they, they, they I don't know, they uh, steam clean, steam refined it, they, um, they passed it through chloroform, so... You can clean it even more, or whatever, and you go and buy that fucking powder. And you mix it up with water or whatever, and you drink it. It's retarded, my nigga. It's retarded. Between us, man to man, it's retarded. You have a lot of muscle. Zero brains. Zero response, zero, uh, a fucking total slave in here, total fucking slave. A human being that believes everything that he is told. Oh, you need a uh, powder to to grow your muscle mass. Oh, really? Yeah, where, where do I get that powder? Oh, did the doctor approve it? Can I please uh, see the peer review paper of where the doctor approved the powder? Via experiments. You're a fucking pussy, my man. Why are you lifting weights anyways? Because you're a pussy? Because you can't... Uh, <laughs> you can't... You don't have anything else. Huh? Nah, just kidding. But um, you get what I'm saying here, right? You will have sugars... So, um... Wait, 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 wait. So, you have... So, you have raw milk, raw eggs, raw unheated honey, or some fruit. 
whatever you can mix that in the shake and to drink that between fatty and uh, and meaty meals okay if you want to get fat if you want to get the, the the big picture if you want to get fat you need to if you want to get fat you gotta get milk if you want to get fat in general if you want to get fat you need to mix sugars with the fats you are eating okay you you, you won't get fat from eating fat that's not how it works. You get fat from eating fat and sugars and, and carbs. Fat and carbs. That's the, the whole... That's what fucks up the rental cycle, basically. Okay? So we, you will have uh, uh, sugar spikes and sugar lows. Uh, keep that in mind. You will have that. Sh that's what sugar does in nature. Okay? And that will make you eat multiple times a day. That's for all the people who are trying to save some money and whatever. You won't save no money if you're going to eat three, four times a day. And eat uh, shakes and whatever, sugar, whatever. Just lay off the fucking sugar, okay? Just lay off the fucking sugar. Eat protein, eat fat, and do your exercise until until your muscle quits. With the maximum weight that... Uh, Whatever, man. Just do the mass, growing mass exercises properly as you should. Protein, eat protein and eat fats. That's it. That's all your muscle needs. You don't need to get fat. Getting fat is for people with heart disease, bro. You're an athlete, right? You need to set an example, right? And that's uh, that's for you um, athletes over there. You have the worst diet I ever saw. You have the worst binges I ever saw. Okay, and you smell bad. A lot of you. Always remember that fat doesn't make you fat. The sugars and carbs you eat with the fat are making you fat. Okay. Oh, but wait, Sonia. What about snacks? What about snacks? What about them? Fuck you. Next question. You can get a food dehydrator and dry yourself some small fish, calamari, bacon, or beef slices. Yeah, you can get a food dehydrator, put some fucking fish in there, put some pieces of meat in there, and just have a bag of that. Have, have a bag of that and just, you know, go around, eat it whenever, between meals, you, you feel hungry, you feel depressed. You, you need your rehab uh, helping guides, helping... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> training wheels cheese is an awesome snack okay that's all you need bros that's this is this this, this all you need that's it no snacks anymore that's all you need dehydrator you can dehydrate every anything you want and cheese cheese milk raw milk i i have a bottle of raw milk that's that's covers your hunger that can ho cover your hunger yeah um milk is cheese eventually so um there's enough shit on this diet to cover your hunger Okay, uh, yeah, and if you want to snack around all day, just fucking vape or smoke uh, drugs. No, just kidding. For your own personal choice, you can keep on eating some plant material, yeah, such as uh, the leaf tasting paste you call avocados. That's another thing that I fucking loved once. I fucking loved it. The texture, the aroma, the aftertaste the the saltiness it has like the 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 ripe avocados they have the, the, this this unexplainable saltiness okay to them i would love that shit now i can't even touch it but it tastes it the aroma leaf the taste leaf <laughs> everything is leaf i can't live anymore i can live with myself um <laughs> You know that story where um, where uh, a guy or whatever he touches everything and um and it turns it to gold <laughs> or something like that. So uh, everything turned turned into leaves. I was talking to my mother and she turned into a broccoli. Uh, so um so if you already keep on eating plant material, yeah, if you want to keep it in your diet, okay. Um, like avocados and stuff like that. Please, 
please search for terms like low oxalate food list okay you want to avoid plants that have, have oxalates have uh, the plants have a lot of fucking toxins a lot of fucking toxins we're talking about we talked in our plant mechanism uh, plant defense mechanisms and chemical me uh, defense mechanisms we talked about it not we the guy on my presentation talked about it uh, in my nutrition pr presentation if you saw that you know plants have a lot of fucking um uh chemical problems that they can do to your body right so if you want to keep plants if you don't want what you don't you don't know what plants cause less damage whatever search for terms like this low oxalate food list okay fruits are basically um no no oxalate almost no oxalate or low, low oxalate um or almost no oxalate in most cases, right? Our fruit. Uh, but again, remember, these are sugars. These are... Uh, if you want to... Look, bro, just do whatever the fuck you want. Just don't get... Um, yeah. Just take care of yourself. And um, and be aware, okay? Be aware of what the sugar does to you, of the, what the salt does to you, okay? Don't be a, just a stupid person that goes around and tells everybody how sugar is the best thing ever. Look at me, I'm in sugar. I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, I can see you're on fucking sugar, okay? <laughs> Believe me. Always, I tried sugar and not, not, not a fan. I'm sorry, not a fan. Always remember that oxalates are really not the only toxins in plants, okay? Just as we said right now. And always remember that sumo fighters do not get fat from snacks. But from vegetable soup, yeah, okay? Sumos do not get fat from snacks or, sh or junk food. They get fat out of vegetable chicken soup that they are having all day. Buck uh, uh, bu uh, bucket fools. Bucket fools. You fool of a bucket. Oh, shit. My soundboard. Oh, it's here. It's working. It had like 12% battery left. Like 12% battery. I just wanna... I just wanna... I just... I just wanna... Did somebody even hear that? Uh, I need to fix up this shitty place. What to do on a bad day where I'm stuck? As we talked about uh, earlier, but we're gonna a little bit um, go into details here. You can always find a butchery or major shop supermarket with a fresh beef or fish for sale or butchery, you know? Um, I just said it in the first. So you find a butchery, find a, uh, a big shop, a big market. There's always gonna be animal products there. Raw animal products, unprocessed, ready to eat. Okay, so don't get um, don't get any ideas going and uh, okay, uh, maybe I will just buy some pizza because I have no other options. You do have fucking options, always, all the time. This is truth. This diet right here, it's truth. Animal-based nutrition is truth. We would never be in a place where you can't get meat fucking all around you they are like in a in a in a in a populated place it's not possible and it's not possible because it's the truth bro and you can't deny the truth you can't have a population of humans without butcheries everywhere without meat everywhere and fish everywhere and milk everywhere okay and that's exactly what happens don't you ever think you're stuck there's meat everywhere we are meat based. I know a lot of you are autistic idiots and you see autistic idiots all day long. We need to eat meat. All right? You can always find a place where they will make you uh, your meal only with meat or even without any cooking like we mentioned before um, with the example of being in a pub or whatever. Um you can just ask, please give me only the meat. Please remove everything from this um, dish. Except the meat. So some places have fresh... Or uh, ask them not to cook it. Not to cook it, but it's dangerous. It's a... It's a... It's a health hazard. It's a... Shut the fuck up! 
and bring me my meat. It's my problem. You want me to sign a paper that says that it's my problem, it's my choice. You want me to record this conversation for legal reasons? Huh, Mr. Lawyer? Mr. Judge? And they will probably agree. Okay, yeah, unless there are a stupid closed-minded fucking robot that is um, a slave to his own intellect. And there are people like that. One person. One person did that to me. Did, did, did um, refused to bring me my food raw. He actually br brought it. He brought it cooked, and he said it was it was gonna be raw. I said to him exactly how to make it. Please, five seconds here, five seconds there. That's it. I don't care if it's cold. I don't care if it's, I don't care if it's nothing. And if you have a, uh, if you have a, if you have a, an, an option not to leave it on the on the stove, whatever. Go ahead, please. I don't want it cooked. I don't want it hot. Please, it's on me. I'm the customer. I'm paying. Please bring it to me like this exactly. He said, yeah, 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 yeah. And then I got a fucking, uh, a gray burger, basically. A gray cooked fucking ass burger. And he said, that's rare. In nature, you would murder somebody for something like that. <laughs> no, just kidding. Some places have freshly made meat. Uh, or patties, kebabs, meat on a stick, just waiting to be cooked. Just ask for the plate of these without the cooking. Okay, a lot of places, um, like shawarma places. You know what what, what shawarma is? Um, uh, blah, 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 blah. a lot of places where, um, they make like you know meat on sticks and you know like um, bruh. How can I explain it to you? Yeah, more specifically, uh, it's like places where you eat out, basically, but it's like only c cooked meats and whatever. They always have these meats aside. Okay, you don't have uh, to uh, to go through the cooking process. You don't have to pay for them to cook to kill your meat, basically. Okay, you can just ask for it in a plate without any cooking, and it's usually even cheaper. He, uh, the, the people are like, "What?" Without giving you any service, you want just like this? Wow! I wish every customer was like this, was like that, was like so. In reality, in really, really tough situations, which is reality basically, you can always eat canned meat or fish. It, make sure it's not with plant oils, okay? The the fish is in the fish juices or whatever, in water, and you, whatever you wanna um, name it, but not plant oils, please, please. In the in the fish's oil, that's okay. In water, that's okay. Um, even you know coconut oil, whatever fat is saturated, I would go for it, okay? Palm oil. Coconut oil, n not um, not um, olive oil, though. Okay, so make sure it's not with plant oils. Uh, personally, I would stay the fuck away from canned foods. Me personally, okay, because um, because I had problems with uh, I had the, the total true story. Kill me. This is my experience. Three months. I was every every week. I would um, I would I would smoke weed. In a place. In a time where I where I shouldn't have been smoking weed, but it's a social situation. Whatever friends and uh, you know uh, young young people and whatever, it, it, bruh, come on, what am I a loser? So um, it was a period that every week I would uh, twice a week or once a week, at least once a week, twice a week tops, I would buy canned fish to um. To calm down my munchies, basically. Okay, so after these three three weeks, I stopped it, and a week after the fourth, the fifth week, right? The fifth week, I got so sick. I got like headache. It wasn't even a, a like I know I know how I get sick. Okay, I I know how I was getting sick in the past. Okay, my throat would hurt. My uh, my tonsils would swell up. Um, sometimes if it really gets worse, I had, um, bronchitis issues, you know, like coughing, green shit, green, 
inflammatory fungi or whatever that, that is, right? So um, so I knew like how how me personally how I'm getting sick in my life. After switching diets and shit, I was not sick for like two years, okay? And then this happened. And then this happened, and not only did this happen, the the phenomenons I had, the side effects of the sickness were different. I had headaches. I never had headaches when I was sick. Headaches, like deep, deep fucking headaches. Deep headaches, okay? My fever gone up to like almost uh, 39 Celsius, almost 40 Celsius, which never happened. I had fevers like 38, 39, never 40, okay? So... It got to turn it forty. My mom was really fucking scared about it. And in hindsight, with with after this whole ordeal, after talking to myself, this is what I think. This is what I know actually on myself. Stay the fuck away from canned food. I will never eat that shit again. It's it has something really bad there. Okay. If it, it, it's the aldehydes or whatever it is, it's really fucking bad. Uh, so I never ate it again, never got sick again, so fuck you. And don't ever forget that you can just fast for a day. You can just fast for a day. You don't have to um, eat, okay? Just like you said before, you're not a sugar-hungry addict anymore. But remember, you can just fast for a day. You can fast for two days. I would fast four days with only fish broth. How about that? Four days I would was without anything. Fasted, and it's look. It's not the, the the. I don't think it's the best thing in the world for your body, for your um, for your liver, for your especially for your, um, you know your um your um kidneys. Yeah, it's not good for your kidneys. You can feel the adrenaline. You can feel the dryness. You can feel the whatever after three four days without eating and only being on bone broth, which is basically fat and collagen. <clears throat> So yeah, whatever. Um, so you're not a sugar hungry addict anymore. Okay, what to do when I have the munchies? Okay, first thing to do to make sure you're not smoking at the beginning of the day or in the middle of it. Okay, you're not smoking weed. That means if you're already smoking and you want to smoke, at least do it at the end of the day after a proper day of proper food. Okay, you, 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 you finish your day at work, you come home. You rest, you you eat properly throughout the day, and only then you smoke your weed. If you want to smoke your weed, and only then smoke your weed. Don't ruin your day. Don't ruin your chemistry for the whole day. And if you are feeling like a hero and want to smoke all day long, make sure you have enough meat, eggs, milk, and dry meat, snacks, or whatever, honey, to cover your hunger. Make sure you have that with you all the time. Because if you're not going to have that, you're going to order out some shit or eat some shit. Believe me. You, you won't... Um, you, you won't... Um, you won't think differently in that situation, believe me. Of course, I will not exclude the fact that maybe there are some people out there who can smoke all day and still maintain a steady, healthy diet. I won't. I won't exclude that. Okay. I don't. Ex I believe. I believe you are out there. I didn't. I don't know people like that personally. I'm a strong. I'm a strong-willed person. Okay compared to other people i'm a strong-willed person with diet with drugs okay believe me i've been through those things i'm experienced with those things okay and i have a hard time saying to myself no to my munchies i have a hard time and it's not that hard but it's hard if it's hard on me it's impossible to others believe me it's impossible to others who eat shit and are addicted to that crap and have those pathogens that tell them when to eat and where, okay? So, where to eat and where? Where to eat and what? The mass majority of you can't and you won't. You're not a hero. You're not going to survive this. Believe me. Believe me. And if you don't believe me, good. Maybe you will prove our, uh, us wrong, right? Good. Don't believe me. Don't believe fucking anybody. Try. No. <clears throat> what to do with my cat or dog? First thing is to put them on raw beef meat. You can try adding eggs. Second thing is to notice your pet's 
feces. That's the second. You give them beef, okay, and then you notice the feces. You 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 stare at the feces every time. You 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 um, measure the feces. You smell the feces. You touch it, the consistency, and then you just give it a little. So you <laughs> so you notice your pet's feces. Are they dry or are they runny? That's what you need to notice. You know exactly how it needs to look and feel. Okay, you know exactly how good shits feel and smell and you know what I mean. You you shat all your life. Uh, how is that? How how does it go? How does it go? That Irish mother that, that yelled at her uh, daughters. Somebody knows to flush the toilet after they had a shat. Disgusting! I hope I I uh, <laughs> I uh, phrased it right. I believe I don't. I didn't. If the feces are bad for a period of over a month, that usually means your pet's digestive tract never digested real natural foods, and all of its life it had to digest dry and processed nerd laboratory food from the vet. Okay, it, it uh, the the digestive tract it never it never really dealt dealt with um with just um with um moisturizing jelly basically with uh, it, with bowel cream that is made from raw meat touching your bile and then passes through your uh, through your intestines they are not used to that they are not used to that natural state they are used to always giving out fluids just to pass through the fucking processed shit they ate right so <clears throat> it's a process in this situation, if your pet's shits are bad, in this situation, after a period of a month, in this situation, you need to contact with some butchery or even people who promote raw meat diets for dogs and cats. There are a lot of people like that, a lot of Facebook groups, Instagram groups. You, you, I don't know. You want, you want to contact me? We're gonna search for them together if you want to. Okay, you can find those people who are. Uh, this is nothing new under the sun, people. Okay. <clears throat> This is nothing new. People are always have been um, <clears throat> people who know always have been treating their pa uh, their their dogs and cats with with the natural diet, right? So you can find these people. Why do you want to find these people or a butchery, uh, a special butchery? Why? Because you want uncleaned rumen, okay? You want uncleaned stomach with all the germs, with all the shit that they have there, okay, with all the chewed plant materials and the germ, you want that beef, sheep, horse, goat, okay, with all the germs inside, and give that to your pet with like 50 or 100 grams of it every meal, okay, depends on the size of your dog, if your dog is below like 25 kilograms, give it, I don't know, less than 50, don't concentrate on the numbers. Don't con just don't give it too much or too little. You know what I'm saying? You will get it. You don't have to go with numbers. But if you want to go with numbers, there are people who calculated the these things for you plus minus on with their experience, right? So find some people, find some uh, be active, yeah? Be knowing. You want to learn something, right? You're here for, uh, you know, school, education, right? You want to do something, right? Meet people, meet, organize, you know? Unite. Huge thing. Unite. Fucking idiots. So this reminds their gut, the bacteria, the, uh, where it came from. Because in nature, they, they in nature, they are supposed, they are supposed to be born in the earth. In the in in animal feces, you know, in the villa, in um, in the farm, there's these germs, these things. They are born with it. They are always always playing with them. They are always putting it in their mouth, right? Licking shit off things, and our babies do it too. Why are they doing it? Why are they doing it? Because they are getting stronger. They are realizing their environment. They want to be the environment. If you want to be healthy, eventually, naturally, you want to be the environment. You don't want to be a sterile piece of shit without germs. Without germs, you die. You live because of germs, basically, okay? Alright? 
so give it to your dog if you want numbers contact people okay if you want numbers but believe me you can this is this is this is this is it this is it right here you don't have the you don't have to have numbers you can use another method with fermented meat, okay, rotten meat, especially one that has touched with the fertile earth, with fertile earth, right, uh, that also has good bacteria to digest the meat, right, also had that bacteria, it's the same thing, eventually, and, um, so yeah, so, uh, I'm putting this as a secondary method because people fear fermented meat, people fear rotten meat, but the principle is the same. The principle is the fucking same. You need to remind their gut where they came from, what germs are, they, what is digestion. You need to remind your gut, their gut, and yours too. And these are two methods. Either you, e either you, either you give it germs via stomach. Of another animal that's what they do naturally by the way uh, wolves and you know wild cats and whatever they eat the whole animal with with the intestines and the whole whatever and not only that they are born to this environment so they are always eating this they are always uh, their mother gave birth to them while you pass through the birth canal you get your mother's germs basically that's another important important thing for our fucking women here our mothers that we are having on this earth our responsible smart mothers parents eventually but i want to talk to the creature that gives physical birth to creation of humans okay that's more important right now so um where was i yeah so they need to uh, familiarize familial familiarize themselves with fucking um yeah you get it with germs with the germs with digestion after the feces are good you can add more things like fish and raw milk and raw bones after the feces are good from only beef and yolks or or only beef okay after that period or only beef and when you added the rumen right unclean rumen whatever only after the poops are good you can add other things and you can add more more food you, you can add other amounts and other things okay uh, whoever grows plants and is more holistic in his knowledge of the subject of botanics basically knows this is the best fertilizer you know that rotten uh, bodies in earth and a little bit of moisture that's the best fertilizer there is and you know it and you know it, we we saw it on um the pottinger's cat experiment experiment on my nutrition presentation right the cats that ate raw meat raw bones raw milk the plants that grew out of their shit in in the cages right the plants that grew out of their shit were healthier than plants that grew out of shit of cats who cooked their food, who who ate cooked food, okay, and pasteurized milk. Oh fuck, we are done here. Oh fuck, I don't have any. That's it. My energies are gone. I'm canceling my trip to my friends. Hey baby, I'm a cancel today. I'm a feeling old. No, just kidding. That's it, guys. Good luck to you all. Let's let's do some applause. I hope you can hear that shit. I hope you can hear that shit. Let's do some. Let's 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 do some holy work. Let's do some holy. Hey, I don't I don't hear anything. Why can't I hear anything? Is this a joke? Is this a joke? Whatever, bros. Uh, uh, what a fucking fail to the end of the f fucking show. Ah, fuck this place, man. I need to, I need to burn this place and rebuild it. Where's my beer? Send this one to whoever needs help or an answer. Okay. Good luck to you all. Send this one to whoever needs help or an answer. Send this to whoever. You know, change shit. Don't just sit around there and let the transgender people teach you. <laughs> sit, do something, man. Do something. Do something. You're complaining all day about other people, about whatever. Do you do something? You do something. You fucking 
clip whatever you think I said is smart here and post it on Facebook or something or on your clip channel where you don't even make your own contact you just copy paste other people's contact that sounds that's that, that is important to us as humans as teachers as setters of examples right so fucking do it stop complaining you fucking loser so I have a Facebook and uh, an Instagram page for any question, get in touch, uh, I, I will answer you, okay? Uh, don't forget to get an, uh, to set an example, that's very important. So don't forget to set, uh, set an example. Thank you again for watching the show and your mama is a ho.